goodness me, we actually have an incredible monthly tournament here. We have so many high level teams. I think I want to see this game actually. This is the scientists. Scientists Symbiosis versus Seven Deadly Sins. That's actually a Pain and Aeon's team, I believe, into the Frenchies. What else have we got here? We actually have Brazil off dream. Dostomastos, oh, he's back. Corgan's on duty, love to see that. Win or Goose, absolutely amazing. Very good. Ah, Quarantine Crusaders. And of course, Azaz into the Miaz team there as well, guys. It's the Sun Gizmo. It is the Sun Gizmo. I actually want to see this team. Who are the Worm scientists playing with it? Let's leap directly into it here on a legacy of the Faux Fire. It's the Monthly Ornament. Let's roll. The Sun Gizmo is in play. Ah, okay. So, on the blue team, it's Zealith on support. Guardian Zartak, the original Worm, the Worm scientist on this fantastic Condi Hollow Rocket Boots. He's always been a big fan of the Rocket Boots, and we see that now in its refined form. 1v1ing into a Lightning Rod Weaver here of Wizard. Oh my goodness! Never mind! As I was introducing the players, a massive team fight win here uh, for Seven Sins. Uh, seven Deadly Sins, actually. Completely kind of have Aeon on support guard here instead of the regular Druid. But that has a massive kill there. Onto the Worms. The Worms go down big. Or rather, the Frenchies go down hard. The Scientists have all four. And of course, it's a Scourge here from Tenebrae. In play. Meanwhile, on the red team, we have Aeon on support guard in pain. On Power Herald, Rizidom on the Lightning Rod. Is he playing Avatar, actually? Yeah, he is playing Avatar. A lot of players tend to play this build much more aggressively with uh, either Marauder or Berserker, in fact. But actually, Rizidom goes for the Avatar Amulet. And with a bit more healing, a bit more saying there with the Rune Divinity, they're getting up to nearly 20,000 hit points. So more of a sustain-based duelist that will grind out its opponents over time. Nezio here, of course, on the red team as well. That Scourge, I think we're going to be seeing a fair bit of in this tournament. And finally, Scare the Vicious on the Condi Herald. We are talking about this earlier. The brutal team fight grind here. And this is a disgusting win so far. Now, this is on Legacy, so it may well be a very, very polarizing win, of course. Uh, as this is a map that's very quick to rotate around, so it can be very difficult to come back from a tough situation there. This is already 66, 70 points to zero as of right now. Zealith, actually in a lot of trouble, is going to go down, though. There's no way they can res that. The Scourge is locked on mid. That's not going to happen. Now a two cap for seven deadly sins. Nezio just holding off it into the prot hollow here. Nothing really going to happen here until there is some rotation from the red or blue team to counteract this. We do have a bit of trouble here for Aeon. Pops that renewed focus. Will be uh, applying some big, big healing to herself and gets peeled out there by pain and scare. So she'll be fine. Just trying to get that disengage moving back into the team fight very, very shortly. Here we go. Okay, watch us versus French. Lying Anet frauds. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that. It looks like Zartak has the AD. He's not going to get a lot of value out of this, but I think this is going to be a fairly decisive victory right now uh, for seven deadly sins, I do believe. Let's go ahead and take a look at that, guys. I think it's going to be very, very juicy indeed. Let's go ahead and log on over here. What is the situation right now? We're jumping into this game here. Oh my goodness me. We have problems right now for the worms. Is this the fall of the worms? It may will be, guys. This is absolutely insane, guys. This is crazy content. It really, really is. We have the worms in trouble. French worms, guys. Azaz, Herald, Oki here. Of course, a pharmaceutical gang member uh, here on the protection of Goku on the support guardian here. He's what his NA account because he already has the sun come to win it again. Fly on Thief and of course, a spray the big worm on Scourge. But the red team actually pumping hard right now. It's going to be a big team here. It's going to be Miaz on the red team on the court Necromancer. I believe Blackjack. On support, Guardian matching Goku, Sakiki, Power Herald there, They're the same thing as Azadome, aha, Azadome, okay, Azadome here on the red team, on the Thief, and Mio here on the Reaper, is he playing this Grieving build, is he doing it? Oh, he is not. He was experimenting. I, I was such a cool build. He was experimenting, guys, actually, with a grieving Condi Power hybrid Reaper build in an AT. Worked very well, actually. He was able to win the AT with that uh, with that build. It was very effective. But this time, it is going to be the straight-up power devastating damage here. Massive team fight potential, of course, uh, from Mio here on Reaper. And 
Once again, Oki in trouble here. Is there a resin? No, there is not. Asdom finds that kill. And this is looking quite scary, actually. Oki off the map for another 10 seconds. Decap coming through there from lying Anet frauds on the Minion Monster. But yeah, Minion Monster, Necromancer. Well of Crutch, and presumably for a bit more like team fight juice there as well. Incredible stuff there. Let's see if the Worms are able to come back there right now. They're actually down 100 points and down the as well. Is this the end of the Worms, guys? The rain, the dominance. It's in jeopardy right now. The Worms not having a good time. They've got to get back onto this map and they've got to win these team fights. But they're not going to. As is already forced to burn the hill. He's caught out by Mio. He's going to go down here. Oh no. The Worms, they're in disarray. Azadome finds the stomp. There's our beautiful shadows at stomp there from the instructor. The man himself, guys. The Azadome Academy, guys. Known previously as the Azadome School of Shooting. Uh, quickly renamed, of course. Slightly inappropriate name, but... This is not looking good whatsoever. The Worms are in trouble right now. Of course, they are not playing with their full roster. Usually, they're the Lakers. They have a Frey and Draza uh, bolstering up that roster significantly. But even so, they are an incredibly formidable team. Some would even say one of the strongest teams in the tournament. But this is not a good start. They're having a lot of trouble in their first round. They've got to win this team, but they've got to find the way to win. But S3, he gets spiked out. He goes down. And Goku's going to fall as well. Oh, my God. There's just too much damage here. The team fight for Red Team is massive. The core Necromancer is just too much i'm afraid it's just too much the reaper the double well of corruption uh coming out there of course well of corruption combined with the massive damage of the boon rip and the spike from the reaper and fly is out as well this is actually close to gg because look i know that the score is not over but that is going to be a near triple cap there as azaz falls too this is pretty much game over as i'm even going to look for another kill here onto oki i believe trying to assassinate him before some of the worms come back and i think they're going to find it nice and mobile there from the core necromancer and all of a sudden this horseman is in a world of pain so much trouble there can he kite this out he's going to go for it but still 1v2 just keep coming in there as well for another kill and they're going to find it this is just a devastation as is bleeding out on mid another kill scored over here as fly is done too now comes off respawn but this is going to be a triple cap shortly it's spree goes to the respawn gets the waterfall decap but i think the worms they're in a world of pain right now. They're going to have to burrow under the ground and come back up elsewhere. This is first round, guys. This is first round gaming. What an absolute catastrophe uh, for the Worms right now. They've got to come back, but they've only got six minutes to do it with a two cap. And I like this player from the red team. You know, it's how safe. They're not pushing that further. They're just going to take the team fight. They know they win the team fight. They know they've got the better end of these trades so far. And they're just going to maintain that and do it again. Can the Worms get rid of Mio here? Like, that is the big problem here. Like, that is where this DPS is coming from. The massive damage of that Reaper just raining down over time, being supported by the Guardian is just so much DPS. And that's what they got to do. They're going to try and focus it as hard as they can, I believe. Can they shut it down? It's going to be difficult, but no, they can't do it. And the team fight is clean here from the Worms. That is just it, and that will definitely be the GG. We do see the revive from Goku, but as it falls down again, there's nothing. It's devastating. Worms control the map a little bit, but they cannot engage this. There's just nothing that can be done right now. And the red team... It's looking big. It is looking absolutely massive right now. This is a very hard map to come back on. And if you aren't winning the team fights on Legacy of the Fofar, you are definitely not going to be winning that game by any stretch of the imagination. The team fight is simply devastating. Fly is going to go down, say, inside the base. And I think Asdome might even be able to get through that and finish him off there, maybe with the help uh, of the Necromancer to actually finish that kill. That would be an absolute brutal one. As is reviving, can they be an interrupted? There actually is, but they do get the revive, but the gate is now down but this game is going to be over and the worms for the first time in a very very long time they've won every month the 18th something like eight months in a row they are going to lose first round first round is going to be game over uh for these worms of course it is swiss so they have the opportunity to still go through they almost certainly will make it to elimination but this is not a good omen here whatsoever for the red team not even remotely so just an absolute clinic a devastating team fight from the red team this could be one of the strongest teams guys this could be a big problem for any team this could be some new monthly at winners of course as has won the monthly at before um uh, alongside uh, Sakiki uh, and, of course, Blackjack and uh, Miaz. However, I believe Mio has not won 
uh, as of yet. Let's see if he will have his moment today. He very well might. This is going to be spicy, guys. I told you. I warned all of you this is going to be very intense, and that certainly is going to be the case. Worms do finally find this kill onto Blackjack, and that should be a rally. They win the team fight, but it's too late. They've got to figure out how to do this, right? and they're still not out of the woods yet either. They need to get these kills. They've got to get these decaps. Okay, looking for it on mid, but that's not going to happen on this massive node into the Necromancer. It simply cannot happen. Even the waterfall is being held. There's Kikimiyo and Azam just bunk it down. They know the game ends soon, and that is the first round. That's the end of that. The stomp comes through on the Mio, but it's not enough. 501, 254. Worms lose first round of monthly AT. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And we see these games kind of playing out. Yeah, I kind of want to go check some rosters. Let's see. Yeah, so Brazil won that game there. Quaggins won this game here as well. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, Quar yeah, Quarantine, because that's a team to look at there as well. Serial Killers. I believe they're playing without Rip. So that's something that is definitely worth looking at, keeping an eye on those guys here as well. This game is now continuing here as well. What is the situation? Zealith, of course, uh, is now very, very high pressure. Trying to maybe go for a revive uh, onto Tenebrae, but no, he's not going to do that. He's, in fact, going to fall over and die instead. Uh, Aeon coming in to finish the job there. Pain is cleaving out very, very hard. And that pretty much is going to end it. Like, red team did lose the map a little bit here. They, uh, are, they've they yielded the side nodes to the scientist symbiosis, but... With those two kills, that control will be very, very fleeting indeed. There's still uh, Zed side, the Zartak, trying to maintain some level of control over the middle node, but that's not going to happen into the Scourge. Or rather, yeah, the Scourge. And, of course, the Core Guard. It just is not going to happen. Simple as that. Meanwhile, we have the Holosmith here just desperately trying to hold on as much as he possibly can on this node, but I don't think that's going to really work super well. With the Con the Arrow now coming in here, to deal with that ferry effectively. Meanwhile, Nezio is going to be a little bit outnumbered here on mid, but Aeon responds very well then. We'll now move in to actually get the support onto Nezio. Rizadarm slowly winning this 1v1 over here by the looks of that into Raik, and yet finds the decap, and the game will now be moving towards its end as Rizadarm looking to get this kill. He actually may be able to find... Oh, no, good heals go there from Raiken actually. So it looks like it will be a, a 1v1 where it's going to be a node win rather than an actual kill, I believe. I don't think we're going to see Rizadarm be able to kill the Holosmith. But he will get the node, as I don't think the Hollow can really uh, stand on this point for any more time, really, into the devastation of the Lightning Rod Weaver. The weakness span, the damage, the CC is too much there. Meanwhile, Scared is slowly trying to also find a similar thing, a similar victory here uh, into the Hollow. That will be very difficult. Of course, it's a very condition-resistant build. And, of course, this is a Condi Herald there from Scare. That's going to be pretty, scare, uh, pretty stale. But... Don't need to worry about that because the red team is just slowly winning the game just off the back of this one node. One more kill really puts the nail in the coffin for this game. Are they going to find it? No, Zartak is not dead because he has AED bringing him back up there. But these fights are just all so stale. Actually, having said that, actually, we do see the kill there from Raiken. In fact, uh, so rather from the Scare getting that kill onto Ito. And Raiken also falls out of Rizdom. That really is the end there. Two kills secured. Nothing to be done here. This game is well and truly over. Yeah, we can search Zartak's builds. Honestly, a pretty cool build. Goes with Rabbit Amulet with uh, Rune of Balthazar. Smoldering Sigil. And then Tools, Firearms, and Holosmith. Uh, goes with basically conditions instead of power damage that you typically see on Hollow. Uh, with Flamethrower, uh, Rocket Boots. Uh, there is a lot of fun stuff on this build. Just a lot of the burning stuff. The burning, the bleeding, right? Pistol and Shield, uh, of course, on Hollow that is being used. Just nice and tanky. Big damage and a bit of mobility there as well. But there it is. Fun, he is Condi Hollow. I think it's a fun build. Not everyone wants to play like the Omega meta, right? Like some people just want to play what they want as well as they possibly can. And yeah, you could say that's not fully try hard. I'd agree with that. Uh, but then again, you know, not everyone is, is fully try hard, I suppose. All right, then. We have now arrived in the mix. Let's see who the serial killers are playing with. Okay, ah, I like this. This is a very, very big team indeed. It's Stern. Core Guardian. It's for Brian. On the Power Herald. Rips Mirage, but better. On the Deadeye. As of course, Faileth, very well known. Uh, he's kind of one of the few people who play Deadeye. Him and Azadome are kind of the... And Deathfire, actually. Him, Azadome, and Deathfire are the three thieves who know... The forbidden knowledge, the devastating technology that is Deadeye. Very few thieves capable of mentally handling it. But here he is. And this is, I, I, you know, I kind of like Deadeye. Deadeye, in general, I think is considered to be worse um, than, uh, than Daredevil. But Deadeye has got this wild card factor, right? It has this 
wild card element to it, right? That people might get memed by it and might get trolled really hard. I think that is going to be a big advantage here for this red team. Prototype, he plays DPS uh, Scourge, not the regular Scourge. DPS Scourge, yep. Curse of Soul Reaping. And Scourge Blamthrax going to be dueling here on the Fire Weaver. And he plays Magnetic Shield here, actually. He does this not only to help him survive, but also so he can actually provide some value in the team fight, I believe. Giving it to the Guardian to survive, right? Or giving it to the Scourge to hold on a bit more. And I believe we, I believe we actually have an NA team here. Uh, as I understand it, guys, I think, um, being played on the uh, blue team here. It's going to be Critic Moses, um, Mbaku, right? Critic and Umbongo Longo uh, on the face. So pretty standard comp here, uh, essentially, uh, from this team outside the Soul Beast. The Soul Beast is basically kind of the Jewelist here. As you can see, it's the Jewelist Soul Beast build. Then it's standard. You've got your Necros for the team fight and your Thief to run around decapping stuff here. Let's see how they face off here. Now, the team fight here is going to be pretty strong for both teams. Uh, to be frank here, but we'll see how this goes. There's a lot of damage here on the red team, right? Always bear that in mind. Like, the Deadeye, uh, the Power Herald, and the Condi Scourge are really going to be bringing a huge amount of DPS to the table, and they want that Guardian now, and the Guardian's cooldown here of Moses is already being unbelievably pressured right now, and this is going to be difficult for him to decide, can he get away with this? No, I do not think he can. That is just it. Like, so much train there. The blue team just not able to peel him out uh, super well there whatsoever. I think the Cleave is going to be far too good for this to ever get revived. Having said that, the magic of Scourge is a magical thing indeed, but no, it's not going to be enough. I'm a afraid, and that is going to be a kill there. Connected. The Scourge Transfuse is absolutely disgusting there, but actually the Thief is already aware of that. But Brian looking to finish the job there as well. And in fact, Critic now in a little bit of trouble here. Needs to somehow disengage. It's not going to be easy to do so, though. Does get a good heal off there, but gets knocked off, and all of a sudden, that Deadeye is looking pretty damn scary, and that's going to be another kill secured there. Good decap here by the Thief, actually trying to get some value on the map, and Blam does respond to that, but of course does leave mid a little bit more open. But having said that, Prototype is awaiting them, and slowly securing that node. So it's going to be a very decisive opening victory here for the red team there. But it's safe there. They didn't go for the triple node push. Now they're going to go for that third node. They think they can actually continue this team fight over here simultaneously. Now, the Thief is being very annoying here, actually, and this is a big problem. So I think what we're going to see, yeah, Blam is going to try and answer the Thief, and this will allow Prototype to rotate into the fight. That's exactly what he's going to do now, I think. Otherwise, there will, of course, be an outnumber here, as the Thief is actually basically keeping two players occupied. However, having said that, we did actually see a kill onto the Scourge, sorry, the Core Necromancer, uh, of Umbaku. Looks like, though, Red Team going to play it a little bit safe here. Uh, just going to say, you know what? Let's not directly engage the fight. Let's relax a little bit and just not overcommit here. But no, actually, they're going to go back in now. Are they going to find the kill? Should do. Yeah, dead eye. Wow, that's Snipe. It's going to be a tough res as well. There's a lot of players converging on. They do get it. Nice res discipline here by the, uh, by the blue team. The double blood well, certainly quite powerful. But their health bars are low right now. And the Guardian, once again, Sir Heavy Metal not having a good time indeed. Uh, getting battered down here. But, of course, that outnumber and the lack of the Scourge does mean that we see a kill on the stern. And that's the value of the Thief. Like, I've got to say, guys, the Thief was actually doing so much work here. Like, the reason why the blue team uh, was able to get that kill is because Umbongo Longo was basically holding two players on the map, generating a 4v3 for his team. So, basically, Prototype was hanging around on mid and Blamthrax was kind of contesting the windmill here. And the issue with that was that it was a 4v3 or with the respawns there. And we actually see the Deadeye fall too. So, that was actually a very good example of Thief providing an insane amount of value like, there was just no... They did not have the correct answer to dealing with them. The Thief there, they weren't able to... They didn't feel comfortable uh, rotating the Scourge into the fight and just playing that second one, kind of letting the Thief have one of them, or at least decap one of them. And they got punished very hard for that, in fact. Prototype gets out now, and now we actually see Blue Team kind of resetting themselves pretty well here. That overextension definitely cost them a lot. Like, losing players on a map like this, again, a very linear map, just like the previous one, Legacy of the Fofa, um, is not really what you want to do. It's devastating if that is going to happen, and you end up finding yourself in a lot of trouble there. In fact, we just see Red Team just a bit destabilized right now. Like, Blue Team very much in the driving seat in this game. Can they somehow hold on? Stern Control needs to get peeled out there. Yeah, good response by Prototype and Vermont to come and help this Guardian. We can get a big empower there. That should restore the Guardian to a good amount of help, but having said that, that he is absolutely not out of the woods yet. No renewed focus, and his cooldowns are not looking super great there. However, that is the first good thing that's happened here in the past little while there for the red team. They do manage to once again eliminate that Guardian. And the Guardian, in all these team fights, is always going to be the key. Like, the key is getting rid of um, that Guardian. Like, the second the Guardian dies, or maybe the Scourge dies, like one of those two key players, that's where the team fight's going to destabilize. Okay, that is where the problem is going to kick in. It's exactly what you see here, uh, here from the red team. 
They get that kill, and now they're going to run away with it. And I think this time we probably will see a little bit more either defensive rotations, the red team choosing to play two nodes, or we'll see them kind of allow one node to be neutral and kind of give it to the thief instead of basically 1v2ing the thief there. And that's exactly what I think we're going to see. They're just going to go back to mid and just continue the fight there. They oh, actually do lose the node there. That's very unfortunate there for red, actually. Blamthrax now, of course, re-establishing control over that windmill. Then looking to rotate into this middle team fight here as well. It's going to be an all-out 5v5, more or less. And Baku in a bit of trouble. Thank you, Spectate UI, for taking me over there. That's good, isn't it? And Baku in trouble is in shroud, but not having a good time. If four red players actually surrounding it there with prototype coming in there from the rear. This should be a kill on the necro. It is. Is there a revival? There actually is a signal, but I don't think you can actually connect it in time. No, he cannot. Actually, having said that, there is the uh, Scourge Transfuse. It looks like they actually may well get that res. Ooh, might be forced to burn the signal. Actually, no, can't do it. Too much pressure there from the thief. And Umbaku does go down there. A little bit of an unfortunate situation then. So close to getting that revival, but not going to have to come through there. Critic. Now going to be the next target, I believe, here for the red team. They want to eliminate that as quick as they possibly can. Faileth, look at some sniping action here. Here we go. He's going to get those shots. And yeah, this is actually a thing that's very good. Like, Scourge actually really struggles against this. They like, can't really survive the all-out damage of the dead. I fail it there. Once again, finds that kill. And that's another kill secured there. However, I've got to say, Blue Team's Thief is doing a very good job here of just stalling out these games big time. That is absolutely disgusting. Like, this, this game would be so much more of a stomp if not for Mango here. Mango is absolutely, he is decapping out of his mind right now, trying to reset the map, trying to slow the game down, allowing his team the opportunity to actually win some of these fights. Stealth up the guy. I love this here as well from Mango. That's very nice. Oh, I think the cleave might be too much though, especially with Prototype responding to that there as well. Like Mango putting the work in, like playing his, for his life um, in this game, but I'm not sure it's going to be quite enough as, once again, like, Red Team is just very consistently winning the team fights here. The serial killers are just winning the fights. Blue is just not winning. And even though we're seeing some really good thief trickery going on here from Mango, we need to see victories here. Like, there has to be kills. Like, there need to be kills on the blue team side, and they just don't have that right now. They're about to lose another player here. There could be potentially a revival here from Critic, but no, the entirety of red team converges on that location. Moses now just coming off respawn, cannot get that revival, and once again, we're going to see an outnumbered fight happening, and Blam is down, but does get seated. No, doesn't. The interrupt is good there from the Thief, but actually, it uh, looks like they're just going to go for a hand res, or uh, actually Stern will now be able to do that, and no steel available, and that should be a revival there. Uh, actually, it is. He actually stows it. He thinks he can get the revival. Ooh, that was a greedy stow. Let's see if they're going to actually get punished. No, actually burned it, but it didn't work, I guess. Um, for whatever reason, but they actually do manage to get the revival there onto Blam. But once again, you can see how slow the point gain is. And I think this is mostly because I think um, we're seeing Mango um, not really get matched. There's been no answer to Mango this entire game. Like, Faelith playing the Deadeye, it is... I wouldn't, I wouldn't exactly call it necessarily, like, team fight Thief, right? But what it is doing is it is he is fighting with it right like as opposed to doing thiefy things like running around the map really really fast he's saying right i am going to get in these things and kill right which actually kind of makes sense because it is it's a bit um a bit reminiscent of the playstyle that rip actually fulfills on his mirage right uh rip of course will be essentially the thief replacement uh you know on that uh, mirage uh, roma build but uh, what you will notice is that he'll team fight very often, alright? He'll go in and like try and blow the Scourge or blow the Guardian up with like loads of boon, loads of spike damage uh, from that Mirage. And that's almost what we see Faileth do here as well. But you can see that fights are good, but map control is amazing, right? And even though the serial kills are definitely favored here, securing uh, that kill onto Mbaka, well, that transfuse really screws over the Signet, forces to cancel it. And actually, probably is down. This could be a big turning point. If they actually win this, this is huge. Oh my god, are they actually going to get that? Wow, they do. And Prodive dies. That is a really big moment. So even though Red Team now does have the map, Faileth going for a decap, they do lose a fight. Stern, in trouble, should be able to disengage fairly effectively and is able to do exactly that. Red Team, though, are able to consolidate their position in this game and only lose that single player. As long as that's the case, that's fine. All right, the Scourge is now back. They're even trying to delay the capture on mid. Stern's got to be a little bit careful here, though. Like, if he dies as well, particularly staggered here with the respawn of Prototype, then that's where things absolutely get really, really scary. However, the Scourge has now respawned and will be able to support Prototype, as it will be able to support Stern, rather. However, it may be a little bit too late there. The barrier is good there on the Stern, but is it good enough? It is not. Prototype cannot res. He's not uh, blood magic, guys. Bear that in mind. He is actually curses. Blam and Verbrian are available here, and they should be able to get that revive. They do. Very good discipline here from Verbrian, Faileth, and Blamthrax getting that player back up. But once again, Blue Team now in the driving set. You can really see how one kill makes that difference, guys. One kill makes that difference. It really does, particularly on a key team fighting player like the Scourge, like the Guardian. 
Now we're gonna, it's the, uh, the shoe is on the other foot here. Red team, the serial killer is very much in the position where they've got to make something happen. They do find it. They find that kill onto Critic. I believe there's no signal though. No, there is not. No signal available right now for Moses, unfortunately. He's gonna have to get the hell out of there almost instantaneously. Okay. Let's see what he's gonna try and do here. They're gonna have to try and disengage. They lose that player. They can't fight without that scourge. What do they do here? And again, Mango. Absolute MVP here. Absolute monster on this thief. And it's not being matched. This is partially because Mango is understanding his role very well. But also, I do think... I, I almost think we need to see Faileth kind of match this a bit more. And he does do that by getting the deke out there. But they're, they're, I think the serial killers need to answer this thief. I almost like this game would be over like five minutes ago, if not for Mango, like decapping every two seconds. Of course, they actually do lose this fight as well. Stern's going to get stomped out there. They're by Umbongo Longo. Uh, once again, Mango putting in the work. However... It's definitely looking fairly bleak right now for the blue team. They need to somehow find a way uh, to get a really big one. They need to get another kill. They need to snowball this. Can they find Vibrion? They do find Vibrion. No revival there as well, of course. No blood magic or signet available right now. Oh, but they've got to they've got to finish actually. And Baku very low here. He has trouble. He got. Oh no, he can't get it in time. They've now got a rally war here. Blam going for the Somme. Signet comes through and they land it. Vibrion in trouble. Map has been neutralized. In fact, Map is now belonging to Critic. Critic actually gets this with this always. He's oh, he, yeah, he's really worried about the decap. He wants to push the fight to help his team, but he knows he can't really do it. And actually, that wow, that is a really big win there. Getting Vibrion uh, and also finding the kill on the Sun is huge. Absolutely disgusting win uh, there for the blue team. There are two cap up now. It's 100 to 150. They actually win on a two cap right now. Sierokas need to neutralize something, I believe. Uh, they have to do something about this. They are going to lose um, unless they're able to uh, neutralize something or find some kills. Okay. It's going to be a very close one. I think it's going to go to 450 apiece. In fact, both these teams I expect to be at the end of the game on 450. This is it. This is the only thing that matters. This is the final team fight, guys. Whoever wins this team fight is going to win the game. Almost certainly. This is what it comes down to. Is that double necromancer going to pay off here? You know, you might think it would. Uh, double necro, of course, very good for the team fight. Even one kill ends this. If Stern dies it, that is the end. Right, there is a renewed focus available. He's going to have to pop it soon, though, actually, I think. He's very precious. Here's the Lich. Might be forced into renewed it. That's scary right now for the serial kills. Prototype nearly actually... Ooh! Da, that's a big decap, but that's an even bigger kill. They actually give up the no, but they find the player. Can they find this? Here we go. They're going for the revival, but Critic is here. Moses can maybe stop and Umbako there. Uh, with Umbako there, rather. With... Uh, the cleave, and they do find that. That is devastating. Let's see if they can now get the job done. If they can, this is big. Oh, and very good critic. Yes, my man. Very well played here by the Solbies. He identifies the Solbies. He identifies the thief, and he responds. Very nice. That actually might end the game. If they can just bunker this, they need to bunker. Right, um, now, right, if they can just hold on, they will win. The Vibrion is down there. Serial kill is in trouble. Stomp here from Mango. Can he find it? Not yet. No. Ooh. Yeah, no. He can't get that critic now coming in there as well. Trying to cleave. Can't do it. But all they've got to do is stand on note. They just need the two. They're going to be ahead very shortly. Two minutes on the clock. They do win on two, though. Moses and Mbaku. is holding over here. Holding that down. Red team looking to make the move. They're going to go for a decap push. Bear in mind, guys. If, they, if red team can decap, that does cause them to essentially win the game. Because they'll be ahead on a single note apiece, which is enough to make them win. Now we have Vibran rotating as well, but the Thief and the Guardian are going. It's going to be difficult to neutralize this. Ah, but the Scourge. Oh, no. The Scourge is out of position right now. That's bad. Is there a Signet here from Moses? There actually is. No stability, though. Interruptible. And he does get... Oh, no. Just a rotation has actually maybe lost from the game. The kills are relevant here. That's 10 points. That's going to put Red back in lead. If they decap now, they do win. And the Scourge is locked. Oh, I don't believe this. Can they somehow hang on? The decap there. Another kill. Another kill lands. I don't believe what I'm watching here. They've got to kill it. They've got to kill this. They're going to win now. They've got to find that kill. Oh, my God. They didn't finish it. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Five points. The kill was the game. The kill was the game right there. It would have been a 501 to wait. That actually would have been five. Yeah, they would have won. They would have just won by one point. It would have been 500 to 499. Actually, it would have been 500 to 499 because it would have ended a tick before the game ended. Wow, insane. Absolutely insane. You hate to see it, guys. Ah. Oh. 
And look at that. Look at that last minute comeback. That is so cheeky. Look. Yep. Red was ahead the entire time. And then bloop. Bloop. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Oh, that is unfortunate. That is a brutal devastation. Okay, but yeah, Mango, a fucking gamer, dude. He games hard. Ah, Brazil. Let's see Team Off Dream. Let's take a look. One of the most feared teams in the entire universe, guys. Brazil. Okay. Off Dream. Leader. Okay. Gelsine. Off Dream. Okay. Flecky. Bolsir. This guy. Gabrandonant. Gamer. Okay. Should have played. But yeah, dude, Benzo. Where, where's PG, dude? Where is PG? Now, this is a very big team here, guys. Win or Goose. They all dress up as geese. They all have named geese. Look at this, guys. This guy's Goose of Knowledge. Big drunk goose. Rude goose. Shrouded goose. They're going with the mega team fight comp, guys. They've got the Renegade. They have the Scourge. They have the Reaper. They have the Support God. Can they face off Dream? Let's see if they can make it happen here in the team fight. Of course, the double Necromanza will get them a good way here. It absolutely will. Of course, the team fight from the blue team is no slouch either. Of course, the Scourge putting in some good work here uh, for the blue team. But if we see a kill landing here, it's going to be pretty scary. There's the Lich there for the big drunk goose. Can they get this kill? They're converging on it. Can they fight? They actually find it. Is there a res here from Hanzulo? Here, here, here it comes. No interrupt. Oh, no. Ichi gets feared. Good fear there by the geese. They're going to find that kill. Should be able to cleave it. No signet's going to work now. And that's a very nice team fight win there by the geese. Be secured there, of course, by the base ranger, uh, knowing that the team fight is basically lost. Not much to be done there. Meanwhile, the <laughs> Smexy Max literally AFK on close the entire time. He fears the thief. This is sidenoding.avi, guys, okay? Sidenoder.avi. AFK on the node and pray that your team wins the team fight, right? That's a uh, side noting in a nutshell uh, in the current meta. Meanwhile, Big Drunk Goose under heavy pressure right now, but does get healed up there by the Goose of Knowledge. I love this team, guys. Okay, I am definitely a big Goose enjoyer. Feels Goose Man, dude. Okay, it's like Snebzo, man. Sneb is a Goose. Everything is Bazil looking for the kill here, guys. Okay, you know, you, you know, look, Bazil is on the warpath. The parenthesis is incoming. Anyway, here comes the revival there onto the Rude Goose. There it is. The revival is there. Brazil unable to finish the kill. Big Drunk Goose, though, also downhill. Jelcene finds that kill. Hand res is available. Let's see if they can make it work. Looks like they're going to get it. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the revival. The Goose gets their player back up there. They're still ahead in this game. The 1v1 begins. The re Wait, Kala Renegade, actually. Kala? Wait, what the hell is this? We actually have Salvation Invocation Renegade, some kind of Bunker Kala build. Uh, but it's not good and he's dead. I mean, you hate to see it. So it now does come down to this team fight. Good decap here and actually a uh, full cap here by the Rude Goose getting the Henge over there. Let's see if they can clear up this team fight. They have the damage for it. They've got to connect to them. They've got to stay together. They get a little bit spread there. The Goose of Knowledge too far away there. And that may well be a stomp. It is. Yeah, Hanzo finds that stability and gets that kill confirmed. And with two players on the board now dead, this is looking very, very good for off stream right now. Shrouded Goose about to go down. Yep, that's it. That is going to be the end of that kill there. For that red goose, he is down dead off point there as well. So no contesting either. Unfortunately, the red goose arrives, but it is simply too late. And yeah, that um, the renegade now trying to push into the fight here as well. Gets off respawn. We're now pushing into that. No, but that's very, very scary for them. They should be able to find the neutralization, but Brazil will, of course, move over here to uh, the henge to decap that and probably fully recapture that for his team. And the map state has now been inverted as we now do see the uh, two nodes will be secure for the blue team and only one for red. However, that's going to go to zero. And in fact, uh, off stream now pushing the full team fight over. Here. We do see the ranger die there. Big reaper damage there from the geese. Here comes the stop there. Stability will guarantee it as well. The guardian does not make it in time to actually secure that. And the geese do take a win in this team fight. Brazil still full capping that there before moving out onto the map very, very quickly there. But it's not going to be easy. Okay, um, it is not going to be easy whatsoever for the geese to come back in this game. As we see the stalling happening now with the scourge, of course, and the support guard and the revenant slowing it down. Now the ranger is going to rotate back over there too with Brazil also moving over to join into the fight. If we see another team fight win here, this will be a devastating loss here for the geese. It's a fairly close game so far, but the geese need a big win. They need now as well. I like this team player as well from the rude goose. Able to neutralize the henge and maybe even go for a full. I'm going to force the ranger as well. You have a disconnection there. Uh, the scourge is gone, uh, in fact, from the blue team. 
That could be an absolutely huge moment here for the geese. And look, there are no rules in war, my friends. There are no rules in war. Okay, he's actually re-logging by the look for who's going to come back uh, on the Scourge or something else. Maybe not really feeling the Scourge in this game, going for a different approach there. But I believe it was, in fact, a disconnection there. Reverse wind trading is kicking in, guys. Exactly right. Yeah, I, I, you know, I like that. That's a good way of doing it. Uh, but anyway, the team fight, once again, is strong for the geese. The geese are not messing around. Uh, they really, really aren't. That, that double necro comp is... Definitely beating down um, the blue team. And, oh, that was a nice lich there as well from the geese. I love to see that. And you know, I just want to talk about this, guys. Actually, I I am proud of the geese. And you know what? You guys should be as well. You know, I, I think um, you know, I, I really want to highlight teams like this in the monthly AT because Win or Goose, they are a brand new PVP team, guys. Okay. And when I say brand new, they've been playing for a few months now, guys. They've been playing with for a few months with, with each other in these daily ATs, right? In the monthlies for a few months now. I just want to say thank you and well done to Win or Goose. Yeah, they're not, you know, the most Omega team yet, guys. Okay. They're still learning. They're still in the setup phases of their team. But I actually think they've come a really long way. Um, you know, previously, I know there's been a disconnection issue here as well. I'm aware of that. Um, but previously, I think this team would really have struggled into this team. And actually, it definitely looks a lot more even uh, overall. Maybe in a 5v5, the blue team would still prevail over the geese. But I actually think that the geese are really putting up a fight here into a decently strong team. Like kind of a mid-level team here uh, on, the, on the blue team. And the geese more of an entry-level team. But they are definitely moving their way up the ranks right now. I'm seeing some good players, some good solid team fighting. And I absolutely love to see that, guys. That is fantastic. I will leave this game, though. This is a 4v5, so this is obviously not the most interesting game ever. I'm going to want to go see the Coggins. But seriously, guys, I want a round of applause in the chat for the geese. They are exactly what we need in Guild Wars 2. They are bringing... They are absolutely doing what needs to be done and making these teams, new teams and sticking together. Simple as that, guys, okay? Simple as that. Okay, well done, geese. Well done, geese. Okay, okay. I uh, just DC'd. Yeah, I know it's DC. I know it's DC. It's DC, right? It's whatever, right? So that obviously destabilizes the game. But even at the start, okay, I just want to be clear. Even when it was 5v5, the geese were absolutely holding their own, uh, winning some of those team fights into some pretty damn strong players. Right? You know, you can say what you like about Brazil. I know a lot of you guys don't like Brazil. Brazil's a good player, right? Um, and his team, the teams he plays on, are typically fairly strong. And there are some solid names that I'm aware of, right, that uh, play in rank, play in these ATs and do well. So, you know, I think the geese did a good job there. Uh, they did a good job to actually hold up against some pretty solid Oh my god. Okay. Dude. Uh, M Mio's 1v9ing. I, I, I honestly don't know what else to say. This, he is 1v9. Okay. In this game. That's it. He just devastated the entire blue team. Andreas, dead. Feifei, dead. What the fuck is this shit, Floody? Sugon my ball by my balls. Okay? How do you even have that name? You're gonna get banned midterm. Floody feeds. Dead on the ground. Inting into look, minions ripping his body apart. Okay? Death's fire. Here on the dead eye. Belzadar, Renegade. Now back in play. This is a fat team too, actually, guys. Belzadar here. Uh Death's fire on the Dead Eye. Also one of the few players who knows the dark arts. Belzar Renegade. Fey Fey on the Scourge. What? He holds my hand. She holds my hand. Get a room, guys. Right, this is a right role play. You know why they're dying? Because they're too busy goddamn ERPing, right, instead of playing the game. Okay? Yeah. Okay, receive the light. Okay? Like, Andres is getting into that big time. You know, he's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he only... <laughs> he only uses this skill on Feifei and no one else. But anyway, <laughs> here we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they just lost that team fight. Let's see if they can find- Dude! Oh my god! What is going on there, dude? They get into the team fight and die instantly. They do find that res. Okay, beautiful res there by Andreas in favor to get Belzer back up. And now if they can pressure, they want this Reaper. If Mio does die, that is pretty much the team fight win for Blue. Can they find it? Here comes like, and they do find him. Where's the revive? Where's Blackjack? Blackjack goes through it, gets interrupted, and Mio does fall. Another Necromancer is popping the text Mias. Here we go. That's bad though. Red team gonna have to disengage that. They can't hold this, and there it is. And that's what we need to see. This is the weakness of the Reaper. Punish the Reaper. Mio is a very, very strong player. Obviously, highly adept at kiting. 
surviving and understanding how to uh, get the most out of playing this build, but he is still a Reaper. He's 19,000 health with no real evasion. He has his weakness, and bear in mind, guys, that focusing the Reaper reduces his damage output. You always have to consider that there as well, because if you actually focus it out of Shroud, it is significantly weaker. If you can break it Shroud, then it doesn't... It, this is why, guys, Necro is quite a well-designed class. There you go. Turns out that if you pressure the Reaper, it actually makes it worse, right? Because, of course, you can force it to drop the Shroud there as well. So let's see. Now they're going to try and reset that. The team fight kind of went the other way. And the two nodes now belonging to the red team. Looks like red team going to go for a far node push. Is this going to be noticed, though, actually, by the blue team? It isn't. There's no response to this right now. They now know, though. Uh, so Kiki and Blackjack kind of emerging. They're onto Floody. Floody in a lot of trouble. Can he get away from this? He leaps away. The support might be good. But actually, he is stunned there. And that may be a kill on the Floody. Can he get the heal? Yes, he can. He finds it. And gets the pull there, too. Very nice. And now the uh, blue team going to go for a push. Red team finding that decap is very, very strong indeed. That's good stuff. Red now looking for a kill. Oh, but however, Blackjack in trouble. No real need focus, actually. Oh, and he's exposed. Nice um, uh, smoke screen there from Asdome to actually deny the projectiles, comboing it into the shield fight there from Blackjack. But I think he's going to go down. Yes, he is. That's going to be the end of him. That's not going to be. Yes, he is. He's going to go down. Can they revive that? No, they can't. Very good response here from the blue team. However, they do actually lose them out there. As red team, they weren't really overly concerned about necessarily winning the fight. They simply moved out on the map. Beast, highly relevant at this point. 25 points will be an absolute death blow right now. But if Mio does go down, it, that's very scary. There's no support guardian right now. He's dealing out incredible DPS onto the Hollow Smith of Floody, but he is now very isolated with no support. Blackjack cannot really get here for a long time, so Mir's going to have to find a way to disengage, so find a way to hold on. They're actually going to go for the 2v3. They're going to go for it. Sakiki and Mir, they're going to try and push for it. Belzar so low right now. They don't think they can quite get him, though. Belzar gets the kite here. He falls off, does get seized, and he's going to go down. Mio and Sakiki, they actually find the 1v2, uh, the 2v3. The revive comes through, but wow, that is absolutely massive. Not conceding this only is huge, and Blackjack actually responds to that. That is ridiculous. Crazy. Absolutely insanity. That is incredible gaming, guys. Incredible, incredible gaming content. It really is. Meanwhile, Belzadar about to get into the play here, guys. Here we go. Let's see what we have going down here. Blackjack and Sakiki. Trying to hold on as best they possibly can. Mio does get eliminated there. He has been shut down hardcore. Let's go ahead and move over here. I'm going to go over to the mix. Bells are dark. They need to get a decap here. They've got to get rid of this node. Looks like the thief might be looking for it. Maybe the revenant here. They've got to do it quickly. Of course, Azadome already responding to that. This team on the red team looking devastating right now. Looking like monstrous gamers. Monstrous gamers. Uh, so give me a different players. They are. That's why they're on the same team. They are indeed on the same team as each other. Spite Zerk Reaper. Now he's playing the more conventional Blood Reaping build here. Soul Reaping, uh, Blood Magic, and Reaper. This is the meta build pretty much. Well, exactly the meta build, right? With all the usual utilities and conveniences that come with that. And Belzar is going to be trying to get this decap, but it's not going to be good enough. And that, once again, after a very close fight in the mid game, that will be the end of that. Red team get their recovery and secure their victory in this game. That red team, they are one to watch out for. They absolutely are. They are devastating so far. How many rounds? It's a six round AT actually. So we've already done three rounds, I believe. Temple, that's going to be quite the spicy one there as well. That is going to be quite the matchup. All right, then on the red team. It's going to be Cole Summers, the base ranger duelist. Here he is. Look at him. He's playing base ranger. It's draw. Okay, Draw Gaming, the mercenary. He plays for anyone. His only price, gizmos. Sniper Demon God X. It's Naru on the support guy in here. Infinite Dodge Man. Okay, Misha, aka the Master of Disaster. And finally, Space Glide, aka Jesus. And he's on duty as well. He's on duty in this game. Looking to get some victory here up against a very strong team. Team Seven Deadly Sins. Okay. <laughs> Disappointed to see they're not all role playing, actually. Okay. What is going on here? Like, yeah, Aeon and Nicola are the ones getting into character. I love to see that. Seven Sins Wrath. Aeon Seven Sins Lust. Okay. Where is. I mean, look, come on, guys. Like, what are you doing here? Like, what are we, what are we doing here? Okay. Like, you know, this is Scourge. It can be like Seven Sins, like Gluttony or something like that, because Scourge is just fat. Elementalist. Uh, seven since pride pride for not playing a better option uh, and then pain 
Uh, hmm. Oh, no. What's the... What, what's a good one for Thief, actually? Uh... <laughs> I don't fucking know. I uh, no. uh, uh, Something, right? Seven deadly sins. Seven sins stabbing people, right? There it is. No, Dra is not Draza, guys. Uh, Dra is Dra. Draza is Draza. These are two separate individuals. Okay? Greed. You think greed? Because he, like, runs around decapping? Okay, fine. Okay, he can be seven sins greed then. That's fine. All right! Let's get down to business. Some very powerful players here. Somewhat different approaches, but broadly the same. Like, you're saying the Guardian the Scourge, some kind of side noter. For the blue team, it's going to be a Elementalist. For the red team, it's going to be a Ranger. The Thief from both teams there, Misha, Infinite Dodge Man going up against Pain. And then, of course, a Holosmith for damage, basically into the Renegade here. Like, you have very similar strategies. Team fight, Roma, Duelist. Okay, all that kind of good stuff. And Nezio... Is the first one to go down here, Cole, and Infinite Dodge Man find that kill. Different openers here as Blue Team actually decide to go, uh, you know, to actually go for a push directly across the map there. They do actually get a little bit punished for that, though, of course, uh, as they do end up losing two players. Aeon looks like she will be able to get that. Revival does exactly get that. However, Red Team now starting to take control of the map. Cole will be wanting into Rizdom here on the middle node with Misha immediately going for the decap. Going to go for a full cap here. There's no one from the Blue Team who can really respond to this in time. Looks like the Renegade might go for it. No, instead going to go back over to Aeon because Aeon's in a hell of a lot trouble right now. Losing that Guardian would not be what you want right now. Like, Aeon does get peeled out there quite nicely there by Nezio and Seven Sins Wrath. But it's not enough. Wow. Sage Blur. Jesus on Duty is absolutely insatiable. Just keeps on pumping and finds that kill once again. Nezio uh, now in a little bit of trouble here himself. Actually gets uh, a moment. Gets, gets destroy the damage from Jesus on Duty here is absolutely massive. Destroying um, Nezio, big time action. Without the Guardian, this Scourge is certainly looking incredibly, incredibly vulnerable, at least for the time being. Let's see how that's going to work here. Is there going to be a kill secured onto Nezio? Here we go. Okay. Okay, what, what the hell? What, what are you even talking about there, Benzo? Like, what is that? Okay, like, what are, these, what are these things in the chat going on there? I like that. Anyway, they find another kill, though. They do need to start controlling the map a little bit more. Aeon going for the res. I don't think that's a good idea. Though. This will probably lead to her death very, very shortly. There is poison, but no, it does actually go through enough, and she does get the rider. Nice rub there by Aeon, but Aeon took a lot. She burned a lot of cooldowns to do that, and in fact, I think she might end up having to die there because of that very good team support right now um, from the uh, from the blue team here, actually, with the damage action there from the right of the Great Dwarf coming through the last second. Hand res coming out from Nezio should actually connect here, I think. Yes, it does. Great revival there um, from Seven Slins. Lust there from Nezio, of course. Big healing there. Now comes the renewed focus there. Can this be a big reload for Aeon to hold on there? A complete Completely grueling, bloody team fight here uh, on both sides, but I think Aeon is going to be the one who's in a bit of trouble here. Naru is also down on his cooldowns, not a happy spot, but he is in a much less pressured position. Having said that, uh, we actually do see uh, the Guardian uh, have to foot burn their eye onto the hole there as the horseman was chased down big time. And now we see another kill there. Rizdom finishing the job there as well. And this is going to be a confirmed kill. In fact, that is the end of that. And Team Seven Sins really getting some, a good job there. They're actually winning that team fight fairly decisively, of course. They actually did have an extra player there, of course, as Cole was kind of hanging back where the Elementals was in deep on that fight. This does lead to a neutralization here on the temple. But of course, that will be immediately responded to by Pain and Rizodom similarly. Simultaneously, we do have the top buff coming up. That is going to distract pain here temporarily. And, of course, we'll lock the Guardian here. So, we actually need to see both Guardians get locked there. So, now it isn't a 4v4 until one of the teams decides to intervene. However, Red Team was able to respond there as Space Glide was able to make it over here. Actually, contest into this node, allowing this 2v2 to continue and allowing Red Team to gain some more points there. While Cole defends the other side of the map. Very slow game so far. Not a surprise on Temple. It's a massive map there. It really is. Okay. It really, really is indeed. Let's see if Blue Team... Can get another node. They actually do. But again, Misha getting value out of Thief nearly finds the decap though. In fact, Nezio is going to be the one who actually is able to intercept that and deny that very, very effective. Meanwhile, the guys just 1v1ing into each other forever. Nothing will happen here until one of the teams decides to actually push the fight there. Meanwhile, Red Team committing very heavily to this fight here in the temple, looking for a kill on Rizdom. Rizdom actually a little bit low on cause. He needs to get that magnetic shield out there, but he can't. The cast is too long and he finds himself going down there. He will die on no die. I think we actually might see Dry just bleed this actually instead of stomping it. Looks like he is going to go for the stomp, actually, and then try and move out onto the map there immediately. Meanwhile, we do see a thief here. Pain wriggles past there, managed to get past Cole. The watchful eye of the ranger has been thwarted, at least for the time being. However, Cole will, of course, be able to win this 1v1 and get that node back. And with this player down now for blue team, this should be a very, very good time at four. Uh, the red team to actually take a fight. They're looking for the Guardian. Aeon does have renewed focus still available, though, actually, and that is definitely going to be a big factor uh, in what's about to happen here. Let's see 
Uh, if, uh, if this is going to go well for her, it's going to be difficult. Here comes the Marine Focus. Nara going to go for the channel. Actually, get wait, nearly got it. Oh, he nearly got that. Uh, that would have been unbelievably cheeky. Aeon forced to now drop down, leaving the team without support. But of course, this does mean that she's also very heavily pressured simultaneously, causing a bit of trouble there in a 1v2. But Misha comes in there for the peel, putting down that blindfold. Looks like the buff will be conceded here as well, very, very shortly to the red team. That's a very, very big deal there. Not only does it free up the map a little bit, it's also going to give them a lot of well needed point gain to get them ahead. They have that one, though. They're looking for a second here as well. I think we are going to see a kill very, very shortly there. But actually, Nezio arrives while wow, really big holded by Nicola, actually. And Nezio, right at the last second, is going to jump in there with a massive barrier to keep this player running. Even turning it. Wow, really big turn here, in fact, now from the blue team looking for a kill onto Draw. However, that's not going to come through as the support is good once again from Naru onto the Scourge. Meanwhile, Sage put up is here. Jesus on duty coming in there with the nades looking for some damage here, but it's going to be difficult. The Scourge quite annoying for the horse with the deal with here. Same with the Renegade, actually. The projectile destruction makes the grenade significantly less impactful. Everything getting neutralized right now. Cole going to be able to grab the altar. Of course, Pain doing the same for the temple over there. Rizdom doing an amazing job of surviving. This, like, Avatar Lightning Rod build is really putting in a lot of work, actually. A lot of work um, is being done. He's able to survive quite nicely and handle these 1v1s and 1vxs fairly effectively. Meanwhile, Pain trying to give his team the advantage. It looks like there won't be a response, actually, here to the gateway being captured okay there it is the gate has now been captured by the blue team and it's going to be buffed very shortly but this is actually really awkward as naru is going to be essentially locked into pain here forever now he's going to have to try and hold this buff pain will definitely try and kill him uh, i think big time as time goes on but it's not going to be easy to actually survive even for the thief uh, even for the uh, guardian rather in fact we already see the replacement from the renegade that's really scary for naru he's going to have a hard time uh, actually surviving into this like the renegade can basically just like hold w on him and we'll just be dealing out a huge amount of damage we need to see a replacement from the red team to get rid of this guy allow this guy to rotate back out onto the map but here we go Let's see the situation. Let's see what's about to happen there. Of course, using the projectiles is good. Now, Cole replacing him. This is a very nice hit from the red team, allowing that 1v1 to be a little bit more stable. Nodes once again neutralized. Seven minutes to go. Could well be a time again, to be honest. Ticket with this extra objective. Now, Cole and, and uh, Sevenson's rather pretty much off the map for the rest of the game. Unless one of them is able to actually win the 1v1. And in fact, Sevenson's Wrath got a massive seven shot. Lands the taunt too. This is very scary for the Ranger. Like, the Ranger really does not want to lose this 1v1. He cannot lose. Like, if the Renegade somehow manages to actually get this kill, that is disgusting. Right, uh, for the blue team. Could be a massive game changer, game winning moment, even actually. Uh, of course, we actually might have a little bit of a quick plus here from the Thief. Actually, and Pain may re recognize actually that Cole is very, very low and might be a potential kill there. But in fact, no. Uh, we'll come over here instead to try and get this node back as Infinite Dodge Man simply runs away instantaneously. Okay, all right, here we go. Of course, now we do have Sage Blood actually securing this node here. Oh, Rizdom actually makes it, but does now have to fight on the Holosmith node there uh, that was captured. It is, in fact, captured, guys. You can see it. it doesn't, the UI doesn't say that, but don't worry. The game does indeed say that. Meanwhile, Cole just continuing his 1v1 uh, into the Renegade fairly effectively right now. Uh, we have Pain trying to neutralize things. But again, like, Blue Team, they need something here. They need to find something big, right? Right now, they aren't really getting anything. They need a kill. There hasn't been a kill. Look at the timeline, guys. There hasn't really been anything happening for Blue Team for ages. Look, when was the last kill? Their last kill was fucking here, right? They need to actually get a player off the map. And in fact, it is going to be Cole fighting the kill, actually, into the Renegade. And that is going to be huge. That is juicy. Uh, there, Cole finds that kill. Uh, will be intercepted once again by the uh, by Vin Aeon. But again, that's not good either. Uh, this is once again a huge issue for the red team uh sorry for the blue team because again now aeon is locked here she can't support effectively there needs to be a replacement we're probably going to see the renegade maybe do the same thing again off respawn to basically uh, get rid of aeon allow aeon to actually get back out onto the map and be useful but again like there needs to be a kill we need a kill for blue otherwise they're just going to slowly slowly lose the game right it will eventually end and actually cole will eventually get this kill too like this um Cole will slowly over time grind this guide into corners. It will take a long time to actually kill. You can survive a long time uh, as the guardian into a lot of things, but eventually you will die. The cooldowns will run out and the ranger will find you. Uh, and this is going to be a massive problem because once again, red team now on two nodes. Once again, they're behind on the map. They're behind on points. They're behind pretty much everywhere. Where's the response? Is it going to be Rizidon maybe dropping down there to replace Aeon? Blue team now do actually get their renegade over here and they will be able to secure a two cap for the first time in a very, very long time here. However, that will be immediately reset by Sage for the G on duty moving over towards the middle there they're getting that reset instantaneously and even going for a full cup there so yeah this is just kind of like a slow painful death man very very slow painful agonizing death uh is essentially the situation here my friends okay not uh, 
<laughs> you hate to see it. Uh, red team once again, resetting the node and then just rotating. Like This is just the game. This is the game for red. Keep one node up and then make sure that the blue team doesn't have one uh, or even two, right? Like, make sure that they're neutral, the other two nodes are neutral, and run around in circles. That is basically the name of the game for the red. And they're making it work. Simple as that. Oh, and nice. Rizon couldn't quite get the into it, and he actually dies here as well. He was doing a good job of stalling that buff, but he can't want me to forever, of course. And yeah, Aeon, of course, dies now with the plus there from uh, from Misha too. Forces Nezio to respond to this. But again, like this is a very, very bad moment. There. The buff secured for red team. If they can get a second node, this is pretty much going to signify the end of the game. In fact, I think th this game is over, right? There's no way that Blue's winning this. Let's see if we can find... Is there anything else that is uh, worth taking a look at? Korra, because there's... Well, I think I think another that's sitting right playing with Chunsu. Uh, so that will be the Chunsu team. They were defeated by the Quarantine Crusaders. The Scientists are beating Brazil. Ooh, let's have a look at the Quaggans on duty here. I wonder who's playing here. Let's go check out the Quaggans on duty. So, uh, on the blue team, it's going to be Demolish. It's going to be Vernick. Holy beard man. It's going to be Benny. PG member, of course, guys. Molly over weed. You know, hey, look. You know, this it's, it's a judgment, right? We have Cranel on Thieve and Zenvo on Mirage here on Temple. Very close game indeed. Looks like, uh, I believe, red team, uh, ju uh, they got ba down buff at one point, I believe. Because it's still red, as you can see here. That indicates to me that the red team actually got down buff. Uh, no, actually, it was blue team that got it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, no, it was red, and then blue team got down. Yeah, that's what it means. That's what it means. I understand how this works. Ooh, Benny gets caught there and destroyed there by the massive devastation of the Reaper. And, of course, the Scourge. Having said that, Critic in a bit of trouble. The revive onto Molly Overweed is good, actually, guys. Are they going to be able to find that? It's going to be difficult. Double Scourge there, yeah, from Demolish and Holy Beard, man. Critic so, so low. Is there a revival available here from most? There actually is in one second. Critic is down. They've got us on the... Oh, yeah, the steal here is here, actually. That is a really big kill. Oh, and Mose dies too. The Scourge is so disgusting. Blue team is so low. Can they actually finish this? They need to. Holy beard man's down. They've got to get this kill. Do we have a distort res? We need some kind of stomp here from Zenvo. Zenvo looking for it. Crano now coming in there as well. They've got to get this rally. They need this kill now. Can they get it? Is there a shadow stomp there from... Oh my god, he got turned in. Are they together right now? He's ridiculous. Yeah, there was a shadow stomp, but it was interrupted. Very nice interrupt there. Onto Umbongo Longo. Buff up again. And we have Molly over Weed Benny. PG member, of course, guys. About to grab it. This is a really big win. Uh, if he can get it, it's uncontested. There's no response. Isn't it? No, Umbaku's not going to make it, I don't think. He has to drop now, but he's too far. Oh, no. Oh, that's devastating. And that's where, of course, the extra mobility of the Thief and the Mirage is helpful. It's so much harder for Red Team to cover all these nodes with their very robust team fight caught with a double Necromancer. And Umbongo Longo gets caught as well and dies. That might actually be the death blow um, for the Red Team. What a great team, but sadly, it's not going to be enough here. Critic will get eliminated there, get stomped out. And now with that, that really is the end of the game, I think. Uh, very hard for Red to win. They do get the buff, and that keeps them in point parity while that buff is going there. Both of them getting two points a tick, but that is not going to be enough, as they are actually even right now, essentially on point gain. And another kill scored there onto the Reaper. Maybe a revival there from Moses, but no, the stomp is simply too good there. And I think this may be a pretty tough loss here uh, for the Red team. Of course, they'll probably still go through to the top eight, I believe, but definitely a frustrating loss here. Very hard to play this map, uh, you know, with a composition like the red team's comp here. Blue team, I think definitely abusing that juicy double scourge and very high value out of Cranel on Thief and Zenvo, of course, on the Mirage there as well. But yeah, that is going to be the end of it, guys. Umbongo Longo, not quite able to carry the, ga carry the game this time. Uh, in fact, uh, he will sadly be defeated. Umbongo Longo desperately trying to get out of here, but... It's just not going to happen, I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, that is the decap there. But the Ranger, Benny, he knows what to do. He stands on the node and he waits until the game ends. This is the play. This is the correct thing to do. And he knows it. Red team knows it as well. They know it's over. Of course, very hard fought there, of course, with the Quaggans on duty. Demolish, Holy Beard Man, Benny, Cranel. And Zenvo, they get the job done there and they secure that victory. I think that might be the slowest game actually in that round. We'll be going on to the next one very, very shortly. Yes, indeed we are. Ooh, Serial, that's a good one. Serial Killers versus Quaggans. That's definitely worth looking at there. Um, then we have Azaz into Domi. Cole into... Ooh, that is a spicy one actually. Oh, Quarant, dude, these games are so spicy, guys. Okay, they really are. Right, they really, really are. 
Seven Deadly Sins Quarantine is exciting. Might take a look at that one, actually. We haven't really seen a proper Quarantine Crusaders game, I think. Although we saw the latter half of it into, of course, the uh, Toil and Trouble team here as well. But so difficult. I mean, actually, how many good teams are there? So, actually, I don't know. Uh, don't, that might be like a... I, I don't know if he's playing like a, with a tryhard team, actually. So that might be like a more casual team. But Serial Killers, one. Corgans on Duty, two. Okay. Uh, we have, obviously, Worms, Azers right there as well for the third good team. Cole, a fourth good team. Uh, Miaz, a fifth good team. Quarantine Crusaders, a sixth good team. Seven Deadly Sins, a seventh good team. Critic, an eighth good team. And finally, Chunsu uh, playing with Synod and probably uh, some other gamers as well. Nine good teams, right? Nine good teams in the monthly AT. And that's being very, very selective as well. I would actually consider the Spocker team to be strong and the uh, Domi team additionally to be strong. Uh, as well. The Brazil team is definitely a decent team as well, and Dos Tomasso's team is also pretty solid as well, although he may just be pugging, actually, because I don't think he's been playing on a team recently. So, realistically, guys, we actually have over 10 amazing teams, but the Geese, I love the Geese, but the Geese are an entry-level gamer team. Ah, uh, Adam in the chat. Okay. What are we looking at here? I'm tempted to look at this Chunsu team. Let's see what these guys have got. Uh, what's going on here? What is going on here? Let's check it out. So let's see who Chunsu is playing. I think it's Chunsu. Yeah, it is. And it is going to be Synod, I believe, on the Scourge Vans. The big man here. Okay, the Instagram enjoyer. The person who enjoys his character more than he enjoys the game. Maya, actually a very good thief. Here on the blue team. Torben on the Power Herald. And Chunsu finally on the support guy. That kind of classic composition here, actually. You got your, your Scourge and your gun. You got your Rev to run around killing things with the Thief. Finally, the side note on the Warrior. Now, Vans has played a pretty mean build, I'm not gonna lie. He just plays a straight-up troll warrior, basically, um, with Stomp and Hammer to, like, knock people off the point. Kind of like a bunker semi-decap style build, essentially, where you just lock your opponent down with CC and keep them off the node so you can cap it. Uh, it does seem to provide some value. Um, to the team here as well. I've seen him have good success with it. Of course, it can be a good enabler as well, right? Like, landing a four-second knockdown backbreaker, that's always going to be a pretty damn good skill, right? And if you want to try and take someone out, four-second stun is definitely going to put the work in there. It really, really is. However, the red team is no slouch either, actually. We have Garkos. We have Ace Shellshock. Uh, we have uh, Selly C Seal CX Cooking. That, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but there it is. We have Saffron here on uh, the... Ooh! DPS Guardian, I believe, actually, or something like that. Anyway, some kind of a uh, DPS build here. And finally, the Point Tourist with Niccolo finishing off the Ross here with the Thief. Of course, Thief, pretty essential on this map. You need it. And everywhere, really. Ooh, that's going to be a big kill. Being secured there onto the Point Tourist. The Scourge does get the Transfuse. Garkos putting in the work there. Is that going to be enough, though? I'm not totally sure if it is. No, it isn't. Nice try there by Garkos, but it's not going to come through, unfortunately. And he's actually playing the Sage Bill with Scepter Torch and stuff. So a bit of damage, actually, uh, kicking in here um, from the Scourge. But now he's very much very, very alone and also very, very dead. A Shellshock does have the Signet, but there's probably a Steal from Maya that will deny that. Yeah, she's saving the Steal here uh, to guarantee that there's nothing like that. Although, hang on, she is actually now moving away for the buff instead, knowing that her team will be able to handle that fairly effectively. One node left under the control of the red team, but I fear that that may be not the case very, very soon. Van's getting plus here, but I think he'll be able to survive for a good amount of time. Maya now going to respond here and actually get a bit of a plus there. The block is good. Full counter will be up again very, very shortly. Of course, in dual pain. Still available. I think there will not be a kill secured on Van's blue team. They're just going to play it very, very safe. They don't want to go directly for a push. They're just going to just straight take the team fight. They feel confident in the team fight, and they're just going to go ahead and continue to do so until the game ends, more or less. I actually want to really keep an eye on some of these other games here as well, guys. Actually, wow, Cyril goes into Quaggins on duty. Actually, the Quaggins doing well here. Like, this is definitely a team. Uh, actually, yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan of the Quaggins on duty here, guys. Actually, abusing that double scourge, okay? Maybe not a big fan of that, but I am a big fan of this team. Another, like, real classic up and comer team. Love to see these guys play and love to see them back together. They're kind of, they were kind of on break for, on hiatus, essentially, uh, for a good amount of time, but they are very, very much back in the mix right now, and it is beautiful to see. It really, really is. And here we have, is it, is it DPS? Because I believe Demolish, yeah, Demolish is a big fan of the Curses build. You see here, Curses, Soul Reaping, and Scourge. Holy Bib, I believe, playing the more standard approach. Yeah, playing the Avatar build as opposed to the all-out damage build here from Demolish. Molly Overweed. Oh, I need to add Benny because fucking Benny's in goddamn PG, dude. We've got to add him in, right, uh, as well. Here he is. He's playing, uh, the, of course, the Duelist Ranger. 
Cranel on Thief and then the Mirage. It's a Geo Star that Prestige was playing uh, for a while, actually. There, This was something that almost, I felt like, almost really took off, right? This almost um, actually like really went big, you know, uh, and started to dominate a little bit. Was this style of playing a Thief and a Mirage running around destroying everything, right? Uh, and that is exactly what we see here. Zenvo and Crowners hunting down these targets, killing things. Uh, did kind of fall out of favor as Scourge kind of existed and, and bullied it a little bit. It was very hard to play and actually make work, but we see it definitely working here for the Corgans, right? The Corgans looking very, very strong into the serial killers. Now, it is worth noting here, actually, that it is... We, we The Corgans, if they win here, this is actually a little scary for the serial killers. Like, it's a bit scary on the back of the fact that they might... I don't think you'll get eliminated for losing two, but you definitely put yourself in a bit of a risky spot. If the serial killers lose this game, they absolutely cannot lose again. Right? It is unbelievably important they do not lose another game, otherwise they are definitely not going to make it through elimination. They get a huge spike there onto Holy Beard, man. He is definitely dead here. Is there a revival potential? I don't think there is. There's no blood magic. The Scourge DPS, though, the Scourge Peel may be good enough. No, I don't think so. Too much got to leave Holy Beard, man, but... Neutralization there from Cranel will get this node captured up immediately. And there we go. There it is. And I think Benny will be able to kind of stall out here and get the disengage. He should be able to get away with this. Yeah, leaps away with that. Gets the entangle. Has super speed available too to disengage himself fairly effectively there as well. Corgans on duty, guys, are big gamers. And they're honestly, they're looking great, this AT. They really are a 100-point lead over an incredibly good team here. The Serial Kill is one of the top teams on EU right now. And I think this is definitely the tournament of surprises, guys. Honestly, there's a, there's a video title for you. The Tournament of, uh, of Upset. That's right. This is the upset tournament, but we do see a bit more map control now coming through for that blue team. Serial Killers securing mid and getting a kill on Cranel. That is very, very big here. So the name of the game uh, for the Serial Killers is to deny the momentum. The composition uh, of the red team is all about momentum. That is what this is. It is all about Okay, actually making sure that they have always got a snowball. They always have a kill on the board there. Killing prototype would be exactly that. They have lost their thieves. So it's going to be a lot harder to do so. They do get it. They've got to stomp that though. Uh, Vampire Kid Demolish going to go for it. I think it does not land. Oh, the feet. Yeah, not that does come through. And here comes the signet. That should land. Yet yeah, prototype is now back up. Consumed conditions is going to be there too. Freeing him from all the immobilized fun stuff there as well. He's still very precious. Stern dies. The damage from these quaggans is devastating. Zenvo just unchaining. He is here. He is Rip. He is channeling the spirit of Rip right now and just crushing that Guardian. But the fragility of the Mesmer, it may get punished. He has Distortion available. Pops it. Guarantees the heal. Has another Distortion. If he needs it, he's going to have to pop it again. He's so low. Is there peel for Zenvo? He's trying to get away with it. One count the barrier. It's keeping him just barely alive. Oh, and is he actually going to get away with it? Nice dodge there, but Brian can't find it. The stealth is good, and Zenvo, he is not out of that yet. Very nice peel there from the red team, and also great... Oh, no! <laughs> he gets sniped in stealth. The trivial revive, and for Brian falls. But that was a, definitely a bit of a scary moment there. The cluster bomb flying through the air, landing on him. Stern trying to revive, but no signet this time around, unfortunate for him. I uh, won't be able to get that. In fact, he's going to condemn himself to death here, I believe. I don't see Cern surviving this by any stretch of the imagination, guys. That is not going to happen whatsoever, right? Uh, that is not what we want to see. And actually, Cern is going to fall here, I believe. Yeah, that is going to be the end of that. There is the storm. Boo. And that's a big win. That's a huge win there. That momentum is going to get completely shut down. And Prototype dies. That would honestly be close to game ending. Not going to happen yet. Oh, he actually, he's going to go. And that is very risky. I do not like this from Prototype at all. This is super scary. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I, what? Oh, no. Wow, that is actually borderline GG, even, actually. Because now we see the thief fall as well. The two bleeds are going to kill him. He's down. Red team needs to identify it. Uh, but that's a, such a huge stagger. Now Protoss back on the map, but they lose the thief at the same time? Oh, no. that That is uh, pretty much going to be the end, I think. I, I mean, it, of course, it's still winnable, but... They're 4v5 for another 15 seconds. That's a lot of point gain. Be well over uh, 400 points by the time the Thief is actually back. And, oh, Zenvo even maybe looking to get the decap here. Blam is able to respond to that, of course, and deny that. But, ooh, wow, that's that's bad. Really bad, actually, yeah, for the Serial Killers. One of the most hyped up teams. And Crown going to get the buff. That's really nice here. That's going to make it super devastating to deal with that Thief and that Mirage. Even the Scourge is going to start pumping him. He gets that. Looks like it's going to be free as well. Blam going to try and make it in time. He may be able to get up there with a the teleport. But I, he's got Lightning Flash. Can he make it? No, the gate shut as he arrives. Gah! 
That's rough. Very rough. And actually, Zenvo... Oh, wow. Zenvo just wins the 1v1. That, that should not happen. Zenvo actually straight up wins the 1v1 uh, into the Thief. That is not something that should ever really be happening. Not what you want to see at all um, for the uh, for the serial cause there. The Thief goes down. Uh, and now... We have the situation in the team fight. This could be the final fight of the tournament. Of course, it's a 4v3 as well. For Brian dead. Stern dead. Right, and uh, now we also see Prototype running for his life right now. Doesn't have a worm to maybe teleport some higher ground, but two kills on the board with 50 points to go. This is, this is now AFK on Node. This is AFK on Node, guys. It's over. This is GG. Uh, we can, of course, watch the game play out just to see the finale, but 10 seconds on Stern, zero seconds on Vibran. They're now back in the mix already, but... Ooh, that's a very, uh, that's a very strong performance here by the Corgans, actually taking out one of the best teams on in Europe. Of course, it is still Swiss as of right now, guys. So we will probably be seeing, we'll almost certainly be seeing uh, the blue team, the serial killers back in action later on. But that is a strong performance there. I think the Corgans, definitely a team to not underestimate here whatsoever, guys. Who is the blue thief? The blue thief is Faileth, uh, filling in for Rip. Rip is not available right now um, for the serial killers. So Faileth instead going to be playing with them, replacing that with the Daredevil and, of course, the Dead Eye if necessary. But that, very well played there by the Corgans. Fantastic play and really good use of this slightly different composition, abusing the double Scourge for the team fight, almost like replacing a Guardian with a Scourge, basically. Support Scourge, then DPS Scourge, kind of utilizing the hybrid nature of it and then rotating very, very quickly using both the uh, the Thief and the Mirage secure very, very quick kills. And of course, the standard Ranger side note there from Benny. All right, what's the verdict, guys? Are we adding Benny to x Mark PG or what? Because I'm seeing you... I mean, you guys are saying, like, you know, he's dog? I mean, that, that's a little toxic, guys. Look, are you guys reformed or not? This is my issue, guys. This is the big problem. You know, I see this stuff. I say PG is reformed and you're calling your own members dogs. Okay? You're saying he's dog. Come, come on, guys. This, this is unacceptable. Okay, he's got a pet dog. He is not a dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> All right. Do we have any other games going on? Uh... War. Wow. Ouch. Seven deadly since 502 into quarantine. It says to 133. Yikes. Wow. Seven deadly since popping. They mean business. Okay, that is a team that is scary. Let's actually see the um, call team here. Oh, no. Oh, this is really bad, actually. Um, I, I mean, not. I mean, it's really good for for Cole's team, of course. But um, the really big problem here is that, oh, this actually might screw over some teams, actually, guys. Because if this team, if the Miaz team loses, all the teams that lost to the Miaz team actually have a really tough time making it through a limbs. This is actually scary for Worms, in a way, actually. If um Blue loses, that's not good. Of course, I think the Worms probably won't lose any of their other games. If they do, that is really, really bad. Oh, dude, are they really going to make a comeback there? Mia, once again, steps it up another level. Just goes psycho. Reaping with that side. Looking for that victory here. Uh, we have Sage split up. Looking for a decal. Of course, can't do that into the minion man. So Naru bleeding out. Oh, it's times like these guys where you are sweating so badly, dude. Like, it's like, oh, come on, die, 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 die. Because you just know you've got to get on that. You're losing them. You've got to get back out there. However, one node... 60 versus 120. Red team wins on one. And that's a problem. I think they win on one. Do they? I believe they do. Uh, yes, they do. Red team, if they can actually... Oh, no. Oh, my God. The big man. Mio devastates. Oh, no contest. And the decap. Lich gaming here from Mio. Wow. Wow. That, that is disgusting. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't want to say, dude. Like, what was that? Like, what? yeah, I mean, Cole loves to see it. I mean, dude, I mean, who doesn't? Good decap here by Misha. It's very good. Looks like he finds it. It's going to slow it down, but they need more. They've got to win a fight now. Or someone get a decap here, but they lose the hollow. Oh, the hollow does. Can Cole maybe decap mid? It's going to lock the Guardian out of here. They need to neutralize it. But then again, the Minion Monster is going to grab this node here. It's going to cap it very, very shortly. Red team, though. Oh, my God. This is stupid. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I actually like this response. It Blackjack dies. But bear in mind, guys. Two, it's now two nodes for blue. This game ends soon. 
Good storm, but Cole again in trouble. Needs to get the hell out of there. The minion Mons is going to bunker this. Okay, Cole in trouble. However, there's no support for Mio. That's scary here. Oh my god, this game's going to get crazy. Mio falls. There's the storm out there. The thief in play. And Sakiki dies. Red team's ahead on points now. Red team is actually going to get ahead here. There it is. And boom. They find the decap. Asdome dies. And that's the lead. Decap and red team actually should win this game. Yeah, red team are going to win this game. Blackjack couldn't hold off. And the players, the team fight collapses. Sakiki, Azadome, Blackjack, and Mio all dying. And it's going to be a win for the red team by three points. Misha, the master of disaster, locks in the victory. There it is. Infinite dodge man. The greed? Well, they had to. They needed to hold the two cap. Uh, they had to... They, um, actually, maybe they, maybe they didn't. M yeah, you're actually right. Maybe they shouldn't have done that. They actually would have been better off just not throwing the points, right? Because they throw three kills, 15 points. Ooh, that's super tough, actually. Super tough. I think you'd actually have to look, you'd have to go back and look at the mathematics there. You'd have to look at the mathematics, um, on how it would go, uh, because of that. Like, uh, it, you know, they, yeah, they'd have to probably give it the node, like hold it for a little bit, give it up, and then leave. Right, um, is what needed to happen there. That was an insane thing there. Ridiculous. The lit that was the redemption, okay? That was the punish for the lich form, right? Okay, you know? <laughs> the lich form, like, one shot in curl, 100 to 0 with three auto attacks. Then they all died on mid. <laughs> yeah, Mio's popping off, man. He's got, he's juicing. All right, here we go. On the red team, it's called Summer's Decap Druid. Dra, shameless. On the Scourge, Sniper Demon God X, aka Naru. Here on the red team, Infinite Dodge Man <laughs> on the Thief and Sage Splitter calls on the nades. And they already find a kill. Oh, no. Oh, no, Worms. Is this it, guys? Team, I want the call. I want the chat calling this right now. Is this over for the Worms? Worms devastated already. Goku falls. A spree goes down as well. It's over. Two confirmed kills at the start. Oki okay. calls on the, uh, the Weave Hip. Magnetic shield uh, for some extra team fight utility invons, of course. Uh, all the goodness there that comes along with being a burning weaver. Worms do manage to get that bizarre node. Oh, sorry, uh, rather the uh, dock node. Meanwhile, the red team secure the bizarre there. Looking to probably plant one of their players on there. Looks like uh, Cole going to try and handle the dock here. Azaz is going to try and 1v1 here and hold this node for a good amount of time. Will be annoying, though, actually, to deal with that. The decals will certainly eventually be a serious irritation right now uh, for the Herald. Of course, it also means the Herald is not in the fight, so a lot of damage removed for it. Meanwhile, all the damage is available right now for the red team team. Looking to get some kills here, guys. This is going to be difficult. I think we're going to see some very big teams. Yeah, already called. Find the decap. That druid really providing value. Uh, already. It's going to force a plus out from Fly. Fly now moving in. Looking for a kill on Curl. Signet of Stone active. There it is. There's the Signet. The healing is good onto Curl, but is it going to be good enough? He's going to try and disengage this. The Thief looking for that kill. The Revenant damage is big. Nice knock there from Curl. Actually has the immobilized too. Oh, but goes down. Naru reviving. Is there a steal? I don't think there is. Nope, no steal available. And that will guarantee the revive comes through. Good response from Naru, of course, to get that done. Cole going to move over. Trying to get back on point. Trying to stabilize himself. The damage from the Thief and the Rev still coming through extremely hard. Gets the heal, but no. Wow, not enough. Does get it, but he just dies immediately. They're going to go for a hand. They probably get that there as well. Yeah, Misha gets it. Good CC there, but a little bit too slow there on the glint. Now, OK may actually well get the bell for free. No response right now for the red team. Looks like Naro going to start moving towards that. Yeah, I'd like to see that. The objective awareness here is strong from red. They should be able to contest that effectively uh, there as well. So far, the Worms actually a little bit ahead. A spree in some difficulty here. They need Goku in his free. They need to make it to the bell now. Like, Oki's stalling it uh, as of right now into the gun. Now, this is actually very good. We actually might see the Worms deliberately not commit to this encounter, actually, just because of that. Like, Oki into the Guardian here is very good. They need to, re the red team needs to replace this ASAP because they want that Guardian at least force the team fight here. Uh, or, of course, rotate the Guardian away. Goku gets knocked, uh, gets the knock there. However, it looks like the team fight will indeed commence. Here we go. The Guardian, the Scourge, the whole family, the whole gang has now arrived. Meanwhile, Red Team Thief there of Misha, the Master Dots are getting a lot of work done there, moving around the map, decapping everything. You'd love to see that indeed. You really, really do. Meanwhile, let's see how this fight actually goes. Uh, Renewed focus being used by Nara here. That could potentially a little bit on the scary side. He is very much vulnerable now, but the Red Team taking care to actually 
uh, peel him out fairly effectively and not let him die there. It looks like Azza's going to be the target, in fact, uh, for the blue team. Uh, rather, for the red team as of right now, but he does get away with that fairly well. Good barrier and healing is good. Now, this is what the Worms, in theory, that's what they like to do. They like the team fight. Let's see if they can make this work. Can they win this team fight? They've got to do it. The Hollow really doing a lot of work here, though, and that guard is very annoying. It's one of the things that I like to do on this map. I was like, hide behind the boxes, but no, it's not going to be enough, actually, and the Worms do find that victory. Is there a revive here? No, I do not believe there is. The Scourge definitely providing value, but I don't think it's going to be quite good enough there. Thief comes in there in stealth. Oh my god, did they get that? They actually do. Very nice res. Good return there by Misha to get that. Storing this out once again. And of course, the nodes are now good in their favor. Is there a Signet? Yes, there is. Just came off cooldown there, I believe. But the interrupt is good there. And that is... Oh, actually, no, it isn't. Sorry. I thought that was intro, but no, it was not. It was actually just the finishing of the cast. And this is now very annoying for the Worms. They've got to get the job done here. They need to quickly concede this fight, right? Or rather, not concede, right? Quickly win this fight. Force the red team to give up this objective as quick as they possibly can. They're really going to push it hard, looking for a kill onto Dra or, of course, Nara. But it's taking a long time. The Guardian and the Scourge really holding off very nicely. Dra, though, does get isolated. Nara forced to drop down there. And all of a sudden, this Guardian also not having a good time either, actually. Uh, Sage for Jesus looking to go for that. Uh, good peel does do so. The Holosmith is actually very good for doing that. But Dra is down. No Losing it this time, and the Worms do get the victory. Of course, that's 25 points, but it's not really about the 25. It's about the 50. It's about the 75. There's going to be another bell in 45 seconds. And actually, if Naro dies it, that would actually open the next bell up to being quite free for the Worms as well. Like I said, oh, yeah. Ooh. If they could bleed, if they could bleed this, this would be God tier. Yeah, they want to. They know it. I think they want to. I know actually Goku's going to stomp it because the attempted res. That is annoying. Because now uh, it's going to be 15 seconds before we have the respawn coming through uh, for Naru. And that means it will be a little bit annoying to get back out on the map for him in time. This should give the Lakers, or rather the Worms, a bit more of an advantage. A bit more of a momentum battle. A uh, momentum advantage going into the initial stage of the next bell. Bell up in 15 seconds. Uh, Naru actually is back off respawn just in time for the next team fight. So that is okay timing actually. Not so bad guys. Not so bad whatsoever. Pretty damn good. Okay, meanwhile, we actually have... Uh, we're going to have Sniper Demon God X go and return to this team fight here with Jesus. Jesus on duty, just holding this down here as best as he possibly can. Uh, Red Team's still ahead right now, and they do get that decap once again. However, this bell is scary, right? This is a very, very scary bell. Like, if the Worms win this, then they're at parity, and they also have the 75 bell lined up. So this is a very, very pivotal team fight here, and absolutely girl. Hey, thanks for the raid, Xandria. I hope you guys had fun on your podcast there. Big shout to Stay Safe as well. Not only for being on the podcast with Xandria, but also for joining the podcast and joining the fashion show yesterday there. Thank you guys once again. Xandria and Stay Safe. Legends! Oh, they can't concede this. Conceding this bell is not good. Actually are able to avoid doing so fairly effectively there. But Naru is down. They're going to go for the revive. Elixir S is juicy here. The cleave, though, from Oki will be very, very extreme. In fact, Jesus is in trouble here as well. And the entirety of the blue team converging. But they are losing the map for this. They get a lot of kills, but now they've got to convert that. They need to kill Cole fast, then decap. Fly immediately going for it. Esprit is down, but he is now back. Probably going to push towards that middle and get that. A revive coming down there onto Jesus. But is it going to happen there? The damage, the cleave is looking very good, actually. Can they fight? They actually do. Oh, that's so good. Uh, there from the Master of Disaster, Andra, disgusting revival. Uh, there, and that stalls out this bell again. This, this could be it. This actually could be it, guys. This is this is so dangerous. This is absolutely terrifying uh, for the Worms. They cannot lose this game. They have a mere 100 points. The team fight is a Cole in a little bit of trouble actually here on the red team. It's not going to be easy for him to survive. He's doing his absolute best. He's pumping for all he is worth. Draw about to go down though. Is there a signal? There is there. But a steal is there. Connect there from Fly. Nice steal from Fly. That's good. Tempting the hand res there once again with the Elixir. But I don't think that's going to happen. No, but Cole has already left, and he's secured the node. This bell is nice, but it is only 50 points. Bear that in mind, guys, and it hasn't actually been secured yet. Naro does that. That's two kills in a row. The entire backbone of the team fight has now collapsed. We're going to see uh, Misha and Jesus going to try and stall this out as much as they possibly can. Let's see if they can make this work. It's not going to be easy, actually. He's going to disengage it. Yeah, he's got to get the hell out of that immediately. Meanwhile, Fly looking for the kill. Ooh, this will be a real... Like, we cannot have a death here. Ah, oh, that's really scary, actually. If that dies, that ain't good, okay? The bell has now been scored. It's up again in 30 seconds. 75-point bell is relevant. Is Oh, no! Oh, no! The revive is there. The Thief in stealth going for that. Should be denied, I believe. Uh, by Goku. Does get interrupted, but yeah, that will be a kill. And that's just as the bell is going to be coming up here as well. Now, if Blue Team get the bell, that actually does put them in the lead. As is going to match into Naru, denying that. Nice. Doesn't get knocked off the point there as well. Probably Naru to immediately leave and go back 
to the bell. Bell up in 15 seconds, guys. Things are about to get very silly. The bell is actually not enough to win, but they do kill Cole. They're going to find themselves to go Oki, grabbing the two cap here, I believe, needs to finish off the... Uh, uh, the Ranger, of course, the pet res being annoying, delaying that point cap. Smart play there by Cole to do that. However, this team fight, this is it. Fly going to get the neutralization. Decap in the dock. Very good. Very, very good indeed. Okay, grabbing that. That will actually put blue team in a winning position. If Worms win this, they'll actually get exactly the same amount of points, but they'll get more because Oki's going to get this cap here. They win this team fight. They probably win the game. Can they make it happen? Oh, and Nara already taking a beating. Forced to pop renewed focus. And they've, of course, had difficulty in these team fights. They're comp not quite good. Oh, no. Oh, that Emo was dirty onto Naru. He's just barely able to get away. Should be able to restain here as well. But Dra gets evaporated. And Naru might fall here as well. Oh, they got that. Dude, Red Team's res discipline is so good. Like, pressing that F key for all they are worth. You love to see that. But I think Naru is very much on his last legs. Red can maybe get him. Oh, look at that peel from the thief. Misha, the master of disaster, doing such a good job. Red team playing out of their minds to hold this team fight against all possible odds. They're going to get the res on Naru. They're going to go for it. Can they get it? The cleave is really big. They get him. They take a lot of pressure, though, across their entire team there. It's one note apiece. Bell is essentially going to put the red team uh, in an unwinnable position. If that does happen, it's an all-out team. That's a 5v5 here on the bell. It's big. It's bloody. Who is going to come up on top? It's complete madness. I don't know what the hell's going on. Az is actually under pressure as well. No glee for a while. Gets a draw. She's going to go down there as well. I think it's going to be very, very low indeed. Gets back up there. Nice kite there. Needs staff or something. Needs something to help him survive. Can he summer hold on? Goku bang. Lovely bear there from Esprit, the big worm. Keeping that Revenant's dreams alive. But actually, you know that's going to be the kill. Where's Goku? Oh, no. The interrupt. However, the stomp is denied. I think he's going to have to signet. He goes for it. Interrupted, though. Misha, the master of disaster with the swipe. And I don't believe this. Red team lose the team fight, but they're about to win the team fight where it actually counts. This is insane right here from the red team. That was such a good team fight from Red. Like, brilliant play from Jesus and Misha, actually. They're peeling out Naru beautifully there. That was unbelievably good for that. And I don't believe it. That is going to be such a tough loss, honestly, for the Worms. That was their ticket to winning this game. And now they're looking at a ticket to getting eliminated from the tournament maybe if things don't go their way with the way Swiss is calculated. A spree falls. Goku's back. Oki gonna desperately try and hold onto the bell. It's just two ticks away. 1v3. 1v4 even with Misha. It's not gonna be easy to hold that. Of course, even an invuln like, yeah, he's gonna have to concede it. Like, Oki's gotta try and get away, but no. We'll end up falling. There's 25 points. That is a backbreaker with three minutes on the clock. There's another bell. This is maybe the lifeline. The lifeline for the blue team could be this other bell in five seconds. Goku, gonna try and revive maybe. No, he can't do it. Knows there's too many players. No signet available. They need this. Here it comes. 30 seconds, the bell's up. 75 points, of course, once again for the blue team would actually not be good enough. Uh, and it would obviously be an instant game-ending move, more or less, uh, for the red team if they were able to actually uh, establish that. Because that would be unbelievably insane. But this is really, really tough right now. Azza's in trouble. The cap is secured there by Cole. Oki has to try and do something and see Jesus over here grabbing the dock. There's the two cap. And yeah, red team just looking pretty much uh, in control of this game right now. Azza's the big worm. I'm afraid, guys, the reign of terror, the reign of the worms, it may well be over right now. They are in so much trouble. Azaz holding on there with the glint heal. Does get a good amount of value out of that, resustaining himself, but he is just so, so low right now. The sword three is going to hold him alive. There are four. The orange assault keeps him there. Very nice pull. Great kiting here from the Revenant on the blue team, but it's just not going to be enough. I don't think they've got to win now. They're 100 points down. They are 100 points down, guys. Uh, in this uh, in this match so far, and Azaz once again gets taken out. We'll get revived there, I believe, but the bell graphic not really rendering very well, but that's okay, guys. We don't need that. It's going to be a decap. Oki looking for it, but it's going to be so hard into the decap draw. It's just not going to happen. And a minute on the clock. It's getting to the point where it's nearly unwinnable. Goku in trouble here. And he's actually going to fall. Nara going for the song. Is there an interrupt maybe to remove the stability? There is not. That's it. It's over. It is GG. Red team is going to take it. The second time the worms have been beaten down. Beaten out of this tournament. Maybe we'll have to see how things go. But that is going to be it. This is no longer winnable. It's going to be an Azaz going down there. Esprit also looking to fall here too. This is just not looking good whatsoever. 
whatsoever. This could be the end of the run for the tournament, guys. This could be the end uh, for the Worms right now. Not exactly what you want to see. Otherwise, you having said that, um, yeah, th uh, th this team actually... Uh, yeah, that's the bell. It rings. It's GG. This team actually has been pretty much undefeated, actually. So maybe... Um, maybe this is good enough here, but it is scary. The Worms have lost twice. Uh, oh, it's honestly going to be spicy to see how that actually goes at the end of Swiss. Like, that's actually close. Okay, who made it? Yeah, they did make it. The Worms made it, actually. Ooh, just barely making it through. Uh, very strong team. So let's see how this is actually going to play out here. Let's check this out. What is going on here, my friends? It is going to be in the upper part of the brackets. Cole versus Spocker. Seven Deadly Sins versus the GVG boys. It's going to be Un Owen. Okay, um, versus the Quarantine Crusaders and Corgans on GG versus Azers. Honestly, the, I think a lot of these games are big. I would, yeah, serial, yeah, serial killers are out. They got a limbed. Corgans on duty, essentially replacing the serial killers. Uh, it's kind of that's what that's where the position would be, I think. Serial Killers, a brand new team, having a bit of difficulty. No rip, no win. No rip, no win. That is unfortunate indeed. I think the, the games to really look at here are actually the bottom three. Cole versus Spocker. I mean, Spocker is a strong team, but I think this red team is looking very juicy, ultra juicy. Now, of course, I think we're going to take a look at this one. I think this one, oh, Kylie. You know, this is good for the GVG boys because the GVG boys, look, do you know what GVG players do, guys? That's right. They team fight, right? And uh, this is high value because it means they can just team fight all day, all night. And that's something that I believe the blue team is not really looking to do. And yeah, I think this is going to be... Uh, actually, it's going to be the support guard here from Aeon. I wouldn't have been surprised to see them maybe try and play three, but it is going to be difficult. This is actually... I think if there's any map um, where uh, the red team can really get away with this, it's definitely here. Like, this is a very good map for red. Like, that double necro comp is going to be a real pain uh, in the team fight. Now, the good news is, is that Scare is on Condi Herald. I think this is actually going to be big, right? Um, being in the team fight, being able to constantly pressure uh, the core guard in here, I think it's going to be very high value. Uh, for Scare here, actually. Uh, and Rizdom also as well. Quite handy. Uh, can be handy. A little bit nifty in the team fight there. Using Tornado to disrupt the downsides here as well. So I gotta like the picks here uh, for the blue team. I think this can definitely be very highly effective, actually, when it comes to team fighting here. But let's see let's see how it goes, guys. And yeah, I think the, the really big thing here is I'm certainly expecting Pain to really react to Mango here. Like, uh, in the game we saw previously on this map versus the Serial Killers, uh, I think that uh, Mango just got so much value. And I think we're certainly gonna see Pain Pain, try and shut that down. Like, Pain is definitely going to be on Mango's ass big time this time. But let's see what is in store, guys, for Umbongo Longo. <laughs> for Thief. Let's check it out. All right, then. Here we go. Let's check out the situation here. Umbongo Longo. Briefly try and help the range there, but instead goes back to middle there. Trusting the ranger to be able to survive there a little bit. Meanwhile, the Condi Herald has now rotated into the main fight here. Scare the Vicious looking for a kill. And this is definitely a scary, but look, he has got that Guardian in his sight. And he is going to run at it until it dies. That is the terror of the Condi Herald, uh, to be frank, actually. Although, the Necromancers are also definitely no mean feat here for the red team as well. But, yeah, this rev is just going to slowly add more value. More and more and more and more and more uh, periodic over the course here. Dude, 22 torment there. I'm absolutely disgusting uh, transfer back onto the Herald. Not what you want to see there whatsoever. Meanwhile, the Thief was able to actually re-establish control over there and scare the Vicious. Actually in a lot of trouble there. Is he going to fall? Can he get his heal? No, he cannot. Signal there from Aeon is not going to be necessary as they do get a very nice hand revival there immediately. But here we go. The team fight will now go ahead and resume. The big pulls are coming down very, very quickly here. Let's see how this cleave is going to go here. The Necromancers are doing a pretty okay job dealing out a lot of damage there. Pain gets that decap. And Bongo Long are going to go directly to Rizzo. Ooh, lands a big spike there. Going to have to concede the node there with the invuln. But I think we'll be able to hold this neutral for a good amount of time there. Lightning Flash is indeed up there. And Bongo Long are looking for a kill there. But don't think they're going to get Rizzo. Might be able to force the node here. I think Rizzo probably wants to hold here and get back there before this comes in. That's exactly what's going to happen there. Yep, there we go. Rizdom gets back on the node and denies that cat. Pain, of course, grabbing the node over there. And it looks like the Thief is going to come over here and gr briefly uh, force the Ellie off there. That is now the cat there for the Red Team. So they have some point gain on the board. The team fight very, very stale here. Like, neither team really able to really kill each other that much. Or the last minute barrier there from Rizdom might just barely keep him alive. Yes, it does. And good seal, uh, staying there and peel there from the Rev. There's a bit, a little bit of healing coming out there, staining that player. Meanwhile, we actually have the Revenant and Pain moving over here to try and deal with Critic while well, the kind of bunkery tanky sort of holds down mid, keeps it neutral. Seems to be working out fairly well so far. But once again, Mango really 
putting in some work, actually. Uh, again, resetting the map, putting it, in fact, into the favor of his team. However, Critic is definitely in trouble here. A kill on Critic will be very, very scary. Planting Rizdom here is exactly what the blue team wants to do. However, Aeon suffering the punishment here from the team. The Scourge trying to hold on there, but I think the Cleave should be good, actually, from the red team. In fact, we actually might even see a kill on Nezio. Yes, we do. Nezio is going to go down very, very shortly, but Critic does die over here. Should be confirmed very shortly uh, by the blue team. Although, having said that, they need to stop that, I think. This could be a potential revive, uh, but no, it's not going to happen now. Moses, I, I like the idea there, moving in there, trying to go for a cheeky res. You can always go for a cheeky revive with Signet of Mercy, uh, but it was not to be, not this time. However, what does red team do now? I, I think this is definitely something that red teams is having. Look, look what they're doing. Like, they're not doing anything. Like, this is the issue. Red team is struggling to understand what they're supposed to be doing in this game right now. Uh, and they should probably be just be re-pushing closer and re-establishing that and trying to play like a more two-node style with the double macrons that's like forced the team fight all day or night. But they lingered a lot. They, they have essentially delayed so long on mid that they, they actually allowed the blue team to fully respawn, right? Uh, and fully get back on their feet, which is which is not really ideal um, for them here because they, they had like a really nice win. They killed the, uh, the Scourge and they killed the Guardian, but they didn't quite capitalize on it super well. I do like this here though. Rizom once again is going to get punished by the Thief and the Soul Beast. And Blue Team definitely having a little bit of difficulty, but of course this does allow Blue to outnumber middle and already find that neutralizer while Rizom's holding off there. And in fact, Pain is going to match that and hold that to be too. And this is kind of what we need to see here right now. This plus from the Thief is not really going to get value here, uh, as we are, in fact, going to see Critic uh, simply just, you know, basically eat the 1v2 for a while. Pain may rotate back into the fight. I like the fast rotation there from Umbongo Longo. I actually realized that a lot. He gets good value there onto, um, uh, onto Aeon. Actually, nearly finds this kill. Very nice there, actually. That was a very intelligent move, I think, to leave that immediately, knowing that the 2v2 is going nowhere, and then immediately responding there and trying to go for a kill. A little bit quicker than Pain, actually, and definitely paying off there. However, Critic needs a bit of peel. Does go down. Umbongo Longo going to go for the arrive. Moses, not, oh, nowhere to be seen. A nice stealth there. Ew, that tornado is good. That's a juicy tornado. They've still got to finish that, though, actually. The CC is good. Oh, no. Umbongo Longo. Ah! Gets caught. Ah, uh, yep. Maybe a res. No steal available from Pain. That was a very nice... Oh, it was available. He just maybe could not get it quite in time. Uh, didn't have line of sight or something like that. Could not deny that revival. But still, that was a very key kill. In fact, Blue Team, they find a triple cap off that. A little bit of hesitancy in the rotations uh, for the red team. It's a little bit too slow to move, like moving where they're fighting. And yeah, this is exactly it. See, this is what Mango was doing last game, guys. He was just getting so much value uh, out of... Lose a fight, decap, reset, right? But Pain is not having any of that, and that is exactly what needs to happen in. A lot of the value that Mango was having um, in the previous game, it's not happening here. Very good response here from Pain to deny that as well as he possibly can. Red team, of course, now kind of resetting themselves, looking for a team fight. Let's see what they're going to do. They're actually going to push it towards the mansion uh, instead, and that is a pretty interesting idea to see if they can do that. Here they come. We actually see a lot of pressure there on the scare. Precasting the rest from Aeon, not necessary though, and in fact, uh, does cancel that there, of course. Some good healing now will come out onto Scan. This is on enemy node, it's going to be a slow fight as well, a very, very slow fight in the last game. I meant the last game that they played. Good steal, interrupts it, but they get the hand res while they interrupt it. I mean, like, the game versus Serial Killers. And here we go, this is going to be a very long fight, and it's going to be a fight while Triple Gap. Look, there's nothing that can be done here. Um, and look... Look at this. This is exactly what Pain is. Oh, he's actually not going to follow that. I'm surprised. Is he going to follow? I think he doesn't. I think he was maybe not quite sure. Yeah. He just chases the thief. Like, he's going to make sure that nothing gets decapped. The map is going to stay very much in their favor while they fight. No, that is a beautiful play there by Pain. That is incredibly intelligent to do that. Like, he just punishes the thief. Like, the thief was going to go and reset the map and, like, leave a stale fight. Um, but no. In fact, what we see here is Pain matches it, he denies it, and the map stays a triple cap. He doesn't care about winning this fight. He cares about the nodes. What he, what, what he did there was very good. Like, this could have actually potentially led to a kill. Or if he hadn't left that fight there and matched the Thief, that could have led to a kill um, on Rizdom and probably two neutral nodes if he hadn't left that fight. However, because he left, he maintained a triple cap for his team, and now they're rotating the team fight to mid. Does get neutralized here, of course, but again, the overall map state has not changed. That was very good um, with... Uh, with um, that was a very, uh, very well played there by Payne to do that. That was, honestly, that that might have been, that one decision there was probably one of the most impactful in the game. That was very good. Okay, anyway. Uh, Nezio now continuing this fun 1v1 into Critic over here on the middle node. Meanwhile, Scare going to match into uh, M'Baku here to try and hold on to this as best as he can. Moses going to react to this. And, of course, Mbongo. This, this is probably a kill on Scare. 
Uh, maybe he lives. Aeon gonna get over here very, very shortly with the support guard here. She comes. She might just make that, in fact. Yeah, there we go. Nice move there by Aeon. Should be able to stabilize the Guardian. Uh, sorry, the Revenant. Yep, is able to do so effectively. And now I think the, we probably see the Thief start to leave here, actually, uh, because uh, Pain is now going to reinforce there as well. Just honestly, just leave this fight. Like, nothing is going to happen here, really. Uh, it's going to take too long. And of course, it's on enemy node. They don't really want, They don't really have the time to waste it. Looks like they're going to try and push that 3-3 as hard as they possibly can. But everything else is just so stale. It's so stale. Uh, this is going to be. This is going to be a win. There. I. I honestly. I love to see. I was very impressed by Mango actually, uh, just in general. But a very strong team there from Red. Hope those guys keep playing and get a team name. Let's fucking go. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the other games. Here we go. Oh. Once again, the big Reaper Man, Mio, Azadome, Sakiki, Blackjack, and Lying Anet Frauds. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just losing their support gun. He is now going to respawn, of course, going into. Okay, Floody, Andreas, Feifei, Deathfire, and Belzdar. Also replicating that Comni Herald to that devastating team fight over even the Renegade. Mio is support free right now. However, Blackjack is now getting back into the mix. Here he comes. About a 125 point differential in favor of Blue so far. So definitely a strong beginning here, kind of a strong mid-game uh, for our uh, blue team. However, if they lose Mio, that would be very, very scary. They just lost Blackjack. There is a revival here, of course. It is up. I think we do see a down state on Mio. The question is, will we see a confirmed kill? Blackjack, he's ready for it. Stability is available. Is there a steal? Is there an interrupt here? I don't believe there is. No, there isn't. Very nice there by Blackjack. Very cautious. Didn't drop down. Didn't try and muscle it. Put themselves at risk there. Now he goes in. Now we see the support. Blue team also capped mid during this. However, they are a bit exposed. There's no revival there. If Blackjack dies again, or if they get a kill on Mio, that's where things really get scary. Floody, though, in this 1v2, getting hardcore pressured right now by Asdo and Sakiki. That Power Herald really looking devastating indeed. So much DPS coming out there. Mio does go down again, though. Uh, the vulnerability of that Reaper getting punished. Legendary Azura there. Death's Fire is back on his feet after that rally, but Floody does die there. So hard to survive into that Power Herald, of course, and that devastating thief from the Asdome Academy there. But red team, they get the two cap hit. Feifei, magical girl Feifei, grabbing that cap. And there it is. There we go. Boom. Very nice. There's the cap. Asdome actually does get intercepted by Desfar just in time. So red team are technically in a winning position right now, although they do lose the note as the stealth comes through. They, I think red really need to look for a decap, though. Bear in mind, there's 125 points left over. Yeah, blue did. This is crazy to say, but in, in games like this, blue wins on one right now. Blue team win on one node. So red has to play three. They must decap. They need more. This is not good enough um, for red. They need to win again, right? Uh, otherwise, they are going... Two cap is irrelevant. They must neutralize the mansion here. They need to hold the triple cap for some portion of this game. Otherwise, they are going to lose. And Mio will advance. Now, Blackjack dying that, that is scary. That, once again, it leaves Mio very exposed. Like, the Reaper, it, it can obviously have some kiting potential there with the Worm and Spectral Walk. But it does make things difficult. That Lich form, though, is very, very scary indeed. They're onto Andreas. That should be a kill. Trading a Guardian for a Guardian. That's going to be a hardest. Maybe a Transfuse from Feifei. Is Feifei? No, she's too far away, actually. Can't really get that. Maybe Belzar can hold this until the Scourge. This one should be really juicy. I, I think we actually see the third skill used here. No, we don't. Oh, yeah, Feifei was there as well. Maybe he could have got away with that. Maybe not, though. It's hard to say, of course, uh, with these revivals there. Maybe a bit of cheeky transfused through the wall, but it was not to be, unfortunately. Mio and a bit of troll. Bells are now down. Is that revival? Ooh, I think this might be it for the Quarantine Crusaders, actually. Uh, this may be where their journey ends uh, into Mio, Asdom, Sakiki, Blackjack, and, of course, Miaz. That might be the end of the road, I think. Uh, looking for a decap here with Deathfire, but don't think it's going to happen, guys. It's not going to happen. Azadome, we have to push forwards, guys. SA leader, Azadome, guys. I hear that SA is dead now. You hate to see it. Okay, it's unfortunate stuff. It really is. We have Feifei falls here. Andreas is, of course, back. Looking for the res, but no dies. The cleave from the rev is just too, too much. And that is going to be the end of that. That's game over. That's GG. Uh, we're going to be seeing Azadome move onwards. How are the Quaggans doing here? Into the Worms. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a fairly decisive victory here. The Quaggans, uh, their run does end here indeed they will take him down there with the four eight four five hundred points into the two eight five not much the quaggans can redo really at this stage there quaggans love to see that performance guys fantastic gameplay fantastic memes but the journey does end for them and that will be the basically conclusion of the quarterfinals of the month of the it going on to semis right now i believe we are gonna have 
Oh, I think it's going to be... Yeah, we actually see the games now, actually. It's going to be Call versus Seven Deadly Sins. That is quite the game. And, of course, it will be Azers, the Worms, into the Mia's team. Well, let's see what they can do here. This is scary. Very, very scary. These are all elimination rounds, guys. Every single game is an elimination situation, guys. This is going to be very, very big. What do you guys want to see? Call versus Seven Deadly Sins or Miaz versus the French Worms? It is now time, I believe, to get into the mix. The mix must happen. Right, it's on faux far. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And look, this is the exact same map. Okay, that we saw the Worms lose to the Miaz team on. That does not bode well for the Worms. It's scary. Very scary indeed. It's going to be rematch on the exact same map. And it was tough as well. Uh, you know, this is a, this one is actually really spicy. This one is very spicy, uh, this game. Honestly, maybe even spicier than the other one, actually. It's gonna be Nicola here on the Renegade. And Nezio on Scourge, Rizidom. So again, on that Lightning Rod, Weaver, Pain. And Thief. And Aeon, Seven Sins, Lust. On the support, Guardian, Blue Team. Call Summers here. You know what I say? You know what, dude? I'm disappointed. Why are uh, Pain and Aeon... Not in their fashion costumes. Because they did this like really cool kind of genie gin cosplay yesterday. It was amazing. Why? The, what, what's going on? What is that? Right? I, pff, cringe. Actually embarrassing. That would have been sick. Because it was really good. But anyway. Never mind that. Um, the blue team. Carl Summer is going to be dueling on the ranger. Draw. Shameless on the scourge. Shameless. Naru. Support guardian. Sniper. Demon. God. X. Infinite dodge man. Misha on Thief. Finally. Jesus on duty. Sage Splitter. Here he is. The big man. The big gamer. On the Grenade Holosmith. Let's see what we've got going on here. Here we go. Misha, the Master of Disaster. Moving out here. Ready to stealth up his team there. Going with the Smoke Screen, Blinding Powder, and Shadow Step. Set up here. Let's get to pushing there. Here we go. It's going to be a far push hit with Draw. Jesus and Misha, or maybe just drawing Jesus there. Misha going to go back towards the middle there to maybe kind of help out, maybe peel out um, Naru if necessary. They're actually going to completely give uh, the waterfall for free and just focus on these two nodes. And in fact, both teams opting to do that, isn't she? Draw going to go directly for the team fight though. So the first points of the game will actually go towards the red team. Cole going to swap out there with Draw there, finishing that cap off there while the team fight rages. Of course, it will now be a brief outnumber on mid, a full on 5v5. You do not see that very often. Them, but it's about to happen. Oh, Aeon in a bit of trouble here, actually. Oh, we're going to see a lot of kills onto Aeon. Let's see how it's going to go. Aeon does get use her renewed focus, survives fairly well there, but the pressure will certainly not be relenting. Although, having said that, she just kind of hide away that nice port there as well. Wriggles away very effectively. But Naro now under a lot of pressure. The damage is massive onto him. He's already used his renewed as well. And actually, no cooldowns left. This is pretty scary. Naro needs to be careful. If Pain is going to be hunting that kill, and they find it as well. Draw, though, will go for the res in addition to the Elixir S uh, there. And uh, Aeon stomping it, and she lands it. Oh, that's tasty. Very tasty indeed. Huge kill uh, opening up this game. Of course, we did actually see Misha decap. And uh, reset the map. They're allowing the blue team to get a bit of a temporarily point gain lead. However, if mid falls to the red team, that is very, very scary, guys. Yeah, that's Pog Tasty, guys. Give me a few Pog Tasties in the chat. Meanwhile, Drawn out is holding off there uh, with uh, Sage Bird just doing his best to try and survive as well as they can until their guardian is back. Now, of course, Naru has now returned. Drawn, not in the healthiest state, though, actually. Might be able to get spiked out. Does manage to just barely uh, get into Shroud fairly effectively. Sniper Demon God X sustaining uh, that uh, that Scourge very, very well there. Now turning the pressure back around onto Aeon. She does not have renewed focus, actually, so definitely needs a lot of peel there from the team. Forces the SR. Good peel, though, uh, from Red. However, Aeon is still in trouble. Nice port once again to get away, but the Thief does find the kill. And Misha, shadow stepping. Is he going to get it? He does land it. Very nice. And how However, we do actually see a traded kill. Oh my god. Did I, I hate resability so much. The poison does deny it, just barely, actually. But the hand res finishes the job. 
Good res discipline there, of course, from the blue team, getting that player back on his feet. And that would have been a really nice trade there. 1% was there, but they could not quite cleave it out in time. The revival was simply too much there, and they get that res. And in fact, now they turn this around, and they actually end up winning the fight. Ah, uh, that's fun, guys. That is just so much fun. One button, lose the fight. Very fun. Anyway, uh, Nezio now just trying to survive for his life as much as he possibly can. It's going to be difficult, guys. Very, very difficult indeed. Only seven? Wait, guys, why are you, wait, why are you doing M count? What the hell even is this? Okay. Well, it won't, it, it won't, it's only starting to record them now. Res meta here. Nezio trying to hold on there. Aeon supporting him. There's the precast. Nope, it is not actually. Does not get interrupted there. And that will be a kill onto Nezio and probably onto Aeon. Now, Red Team, during all this, did actually secure the rest of the map with Rizdom grabbing the Waterfall. And, of course, Cole nearly being eliminated here. If Cole dies here, that's definitely a really nice reset on this map. However, that's not going to happen as we see the Guardian rotate there with Misha to prevent that from happening very, very well. Although, Cole is still in a lot of trouble, actually. No heal skill does go down. Don't think we need to see a Signet here. No, we do not. The, uh, yeah, the Scourge will be more than enough to actually get that back up on his feet very, very well. And Red Team is actually in a good spot right now because now they're going to actually be able to re-push into this team fight on their node. The question is, is can they actually hold it until the Necromancer and the Guardian arrive? I think the answer to that question is actually yes. Uh, Nezio and Sevenson's Wrath taking an absolute beating, but Aeon does arrive in time, and she has full cooldowns here. Renewed Focus is completely available, in addition to all of her Virtue skills there too. Now, this is now a very, very good state of play for Red, as long as they don't lose the fight. This is very much um, a situation where the blue team has got to win. They must find a kill here. There's the Renewed Focus. Then we're going to see Aeon just try and actually just get a full disengage. She's going to find that as well. Looks for a reset. Maybe has to go back in there immediately and start supporting again, though, because, of course, she can't really afford to leave her team outnumbered for any measure of time. But bear in mind, guys, Red Team is winning right now. They are winning the game 100%. They're fighting on their node. Their Guardian actually got the resustain. They're resustaining nicely here as well. Their team fight is good. And if they win this team fight, that's where things get very, very good indeed. However, Aeon, once again, is absolutely the target, getting smashed by that Holosmith over and over again. Pain coming in for the peel is able to do that very effectively. Aeon simply going to reset. She's got to be a little bit careful. She reset twice now, but no running focus this time and no virtues for a long time. She goes in. She is a little bit vulnerable at this state in the game. And yeah, hanging back here, but I like this. This is a smart play. Just trying to get in there, get some support off, but not committing too deeply here. Uh, now she is very much kind of in the mix, but the virtues are coming back, so she should be pretty good to go. Like the real big time here is 50. Can they actually survive this fight for 50 seconds? That is like the really big question here because if that answer is no then things are very scary in fact yeah misha he smells blood and he goes for it however do we see a revival here i believe we do here pain gonna go for the hand res i think they get that oh that was a big interrupt there and we'll have the symbol of judgment here very very shortly and that will actually help can we see a very cheeky res here from nezio or something like that with some kind of port uh no it's not gonna happen and the cleave is good and the kill has now been secured however this is simply going to prompt the red team to actually leave this and try and find something else. They're going to lose this node over here, but they have actually gained themselves a fairly sizable point difference. If they could actually generate a kill and call, oh, yeah, this is very nice from Norachi. He's immediately identified the outnumbered here, and he's moving to stabilize it. This is very smart here by the Guardian play, um, of the blue team. Doesn't overcommit to the fight. Okay, you know, his team's going to get the kill here anyway, right? Like, you know, this uh, Renegade can't hold off forever, is now going to die. But that is not the important thing. The important thing is maintaining control of the map. Ooh, Aeon's going to maybe try and contest that. I think this is... No, 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 no. Oh, boy. This is very risky. Uh, very greedy player to try and hold this neutral. Pain, of course, will be responding very, very shortly. And Nezio is now back off cooldown. But this is scary. The Thief is now here as well. Yeah, that... Oof. That was greedy. And Blue, get pun and Blue actually punished for it very hard. Uh, punish that greed, resetting the Guardian once again. And Blue Team are now going to find themselves with a... Uh, they're going to have themselves a double cap very, very shortly. I'm going to have Seven Sith Wrath looking to get rid of Curl. That Curl on the middle node is annoying as hell. Um, as, of course, now it's going to be very, very difficult to actually get rid of him. Oh, no. He goes in and dies. A Thief and that range is coming. Honestly, Misha. Misha on Thief, dude. Okay. Misha on Thief is a monster. Okay. Is a monster. Really, really is indeed. Fantastic stuff, guys. Pain. Being forced to disengage there as well, but their lead is slowly diminishing. It is dropping away, and now the blue team control the map. What is red team's move going to be? Who's the renegade? It is Nicola, Seven Sins Wrath. 
Here's the player. Pena look to try and decap this node here. 1v1 into infinite dodge, man. Of course, Cole gonna replace that and probably allow Misha just to go ahead and leave uh, very, very quickly while the team fight starts to erupt on mid. This is definitely a big moment here. This could be the deciding factor in the game. This is a very team fight oriented map here, of course. If there is a win one way or another, this could drastically uh, drastically, drastically, drastically swing the game. What's it going to be? Who's going to go down? Of course, we have seen t these teams actually trade these team fights. Uh, of course, you know, poor old Naru and Aeon certainly going to be bearing the brunt of these attacks from both the teams. They are the uh, they are the punching bags in. I like this from Naru. He's hanging, hanging back in, not committing too hard here, um, and basically avoiding himself from being like an easy target for the opponents there. It looks like the Renegade actually is under a huge amount of pressure. Is going to die there. Is there a revival? Well, the stability has been used there. Signet coming out does land there from Aeon. Very, very nice indeed. But look at this. Just sustained pressure. Sustained killing. Just goes round and round and round and round and round. Good restain there. But look at that lead, guys. It's 20 points now. It's not really that long. Red team about to get back into this very, very soon. The rotations from Red have definitely been pretty good. They've really got a lot of value out of this, but they've got to win this fight. This is what it's all about. They need to win, but they actually end up losing their Guardian. Could there be maybe some stability here? They've got to revive this almost. They actually do manage to get the kill, but I think that will be a rally very, very shortly, unless they can somehow hold this. They're going for the hold. Are they going to get the res on Aeon? No. The stomp comes through. Was that Misha? I believe. Yeah, that was fuck it. No, it wasn't Misha. Actually. Never mind. It was all. I don't know who it was. Someone stomped it out. It was a good stomp. And now the D cut. Rizom can't even respond to this in time. Pain actually might be able to neutralize this, though. Yeah, Cole can't make it. Can Rizdom make it? That would be really big if he does. Ah, oh, he can't. Pain does uh, reset that. No, but now blue team, they are firmly in the lead. However, could this actually be another double cap for the red team? It may well be. Uh, blue team getting stuck on mid. Oh, no. Aeon, don't go here. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Okay, that... That is not good. If Aeon dies here, they probably lose the game. Aeon is basically the red team, okay? If, if Aeon dies here, that is fucking GG. Uh, good port, though. And she disengages it. That is nice. Yeah, and red team actually get the better end of that. I love that far push there from Rizdom there. Gets the full cap there. Forces the Thief to go away. And then actually immediately secures that node. Scourge of Draw being locked here in the middle. But that team fight looks scary over here right now. That is not good at all. No Scourge to peel out Aeon. And no real need to focus either. Nice line and good stealth there from Pain. Pain, absolute monstrosity of a thief. He really is. He is a absolute beast. And now Nezio arrives and Red Team once again in the lead. This is a ridiculous game here. If they can hold this, if they can hold this situation, they are good to go. They don't have their Renegade though, and that's where things get scary for them. They don't have that big team fight DPS presence in the same way that they do with the Horseman here that we see for Blue. Of course, Misha looking for a kill, sharking around there, trying to deal with that. Of course, the uh, Renegade actually realizes that he doesn't really want to give up this cap. So I, this is very smart by Scare, by the way. Posturing towards that node is perfect here. Because uh, what he's saying is he's saying that you, you, the thief can't run past me and decap. That's very intelligent there by Scare. In fact, and actually, I think Red Team are in a pretty good spot. All Red need to do is not die. They are winning this game here. And I've got to say, Matt, I think Rizodom and Pain are fucking monsters, dude. These guys are lunatics, actually, in terms of their rotations. They absolutely played this out perfectly. Now, Aeon gets, uh, gets Barry there from Nezio. She is going to die here. That's scary. If they res this, that's massive. Can they do it? I like that. Look at that NATO. Oh, my God. It's disgusting. Here's the res. Rizdom eating a lot of damage for that, though. And Nezio falls. Oh, this is going to be to the wire. This is going to get absolutely insane. Four-man wipe here. But is one node enough? I'm not sure if it is. That's 20 points in kills, 470, and that's 450. It actually is a win for the blue team if they can cap in time. Let's actually see. It's one node apiece right now. I think, oh my god, this is going to be very, very silly here. Seventh is around holding off it. 20 points versus 50. Actually, yeah, it's a win for Red. Red need to not get decapped here. It, Seventh is Rad. Can he do it? Can the man do it? If Pain can get here in time, it's going to be... They also need to not die, though. Seventh is Rad. The Lunatic. The carry. Can he hold this? He's got to bunker this down. Pain is here. 10 points. Signet from Aeon. It lands. Red team wins the game. There it is. That is actually going to be it. Insane hold there by Seven Sins Wrath. Crazy wipe on the waterfall. Red team secure victory. Curl falls. That's going to be GG. Necromancer and Thief can't make it. And that ends the game. Team Seven Sins are going to the finals. <laughs> what a silly game. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Who's going to be? Is it going to be Worms? Or is it going to be Meaz? Oh no. Oh my goodness me. It may not be the Worms. Okay, finds the decap here. 
on the waterfall. They need more than that, though. Once again, it's that situation on Legacy. They need that third node Renegade here for ours instead of the Herald that we've seen him play there. But yeah, blue team know it. They know. They know they went on one. Oh, no. Yeah, smart. Blackjack, me on Tsukigi. They know it's GG. This node wins them the game. All they've got to do is bunker it. And Asdome, he wants to find himself in the finals there. Won't be wanting to fly. Yeah, and here we go. The Necromars, the double Necro rotate in here. Red team need to find this, but I don't think they can. Uh, we already see the Scourge taking so much DPS here. Esprit in trouble. Goku supporting him, but I don't think it's enough. Esprit is going to fall, and he gets in trouble today. They've got a hand resist. Blackjack stomping. I think that's going to be it. That, uh, this shit, this game. This is it. Worms are done. The finals. It is going to be Team Seven Sins versus the blue team here. The blue team only uh, only win is Lord. It would have to be Lord now uh, for Red. It's the only thing they can do to win. Maybe they can somehow find a way to go for it. I think Fly know. I think Fly knows. Yep, he knows. Yep, he knows. He knows it's the only way they win this game. They're gonna have to try it. Uh, maybe not though. Uh, I'm not sure what he wants to do here. Ah, uh, so, I mean, this is just the it's the end, right? Like this is just the agonizing part of the game where it's over, uh, but there's nothing you can do about it. The thief fly looking for the decap. Not going to find it, I don't think. But it had to happen, guys. The fall of the worms, okay? The fall of the worms has come to pass at last. Mio going to the grand finals of monthly AT. He's been there a few times before. He's about to go there again with Blackjack, Miaz, Sakiki, Azadome, and of course, Mio. Here we go. Well, that's himself. And there it is, guys. Minion Monster. Okay, a spree. Not happening with the Minion Monster. He calls the GG. And that is going to be the end of the game. Worms, the reign of terror, the reign of the worms has come to end at long, long last. Minion Monster devastates it. And that's it. Reaper is the new meta, guys, okay? It is the new meta. New winners. Oh! Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> oh, that... That is rough, okay? Oh! Oh, dear. That is a catastrophe. Uh, to be honest, that's not what you want to see. That, if you're red team, blue team right now, if you are seven deadly sins, this is not what you want to see, okay? This is not what you want to see whatsoever. Uh, because you know you're going up against the double necro. You're playing into Mio here on the Reaper and the Minion Monster. This is a team fight oriented map. This is brutality, unfortunately. Yeah, this is a big map for Reaper. It really, really is a huge map. Um, for the red team. That definitely puts them incredibly favored here, I think. Very favored indeed. It's going to have to be some magic, right? We need to see a bit of movie magic here, guys, um, for uh, for the blue team here. I don't know what they're going to do, uh, but they're going to have to do something real funky to try and make this work here on Skyhammer. Very, very difficult indeed to try and pull this off. But on the red team, we have Mio, Azadome, Sakiki, Blackjack, Flandre. On the red team here, Minion Monster, uh, Support Guardian, Sakiki, Power Herald, Asdome, DP Thief, and of course, Mio on the Reaper. The blue team, Aeon, Support Guardian, Pain, DP Thief, Rizodom on the Lightning Rod, Jewelist Weaver with the Avatar. Am oh, no, he's gone Berserker. That was Amrod, rather. I thought it was an Avatar. No, he is not. A bit more damage there. Nezio, going to play Corp. Going to actually match the Minion Monster. But now there's no Necro in the team fight for blue. Yeah! They're going to try and play three. Is what they're going to do. They're going to try and play it three here. They're going to push Rizidon, probably, um, and then just try and match the Necros into each other, and then just dodge the team fight. I think this is smart. This is probably the way to go here. They know it's going to be extraordinarily difficult, actually, to uh, to win the team fight into that double Necromancer with the support guard and the power herald. So they're going to try and stall the fights, and then simply control the map with that. What's Nezio going to do here? Is he going to come towards middle? He is. Here he comes. He's going to go and push in that fight. It's going to be a 5v5 on mid. But then again, that's going to be one Necro versus two. And that's where things do get scary. If they can somehow find a way to eliminate Mio, that would be great. Because the weakness spam 
uh, from the uh, uh, from the Guardian, sorry, from the uh, Elemental that is going to be strong here with Lightning Rod. That will be powerful, but the thing is, can he possibly survive against all of this infinite damage coming out there? Good resustain here as well, and actually, Pain immediately decoys. I think this is going to be the game plan here. The game plan is not to win the team fight for Blue. The game plan here is to abuse Thief, right? Like, it is to get value out of the Thief. You need to see a projectile block here from Rizodom, I think. There we go, he gets it up. However, we do still see Aeon being chased, or the Scare being chased big time. I think he is going to fall here. He actually gets the evade there with Shiro. He doesn't have a weapon swap though. Ooh, maybe a res from Aeon? Don't think so. Oh, actually, hang on. Oh, wow. Great there from Aeon. That was really good. Is that going to be enough to stabilize him though? It looks like it may well be actually in pain. Gets that neutralization, comes back into the fight, but it looks like we're going to see another kill here onto Scare. Scare goes down again. Maybe a res? No, that cleave is devastating. The CC is big though. No, that's not going to happen. Blue going to have to disengage that and... They are still in the fight well, though. Like, this is the important thing. And Aeon almost certainly going to die fairly shortly. Gets the dodge, but falls as she goes into the air. Pain trying to intercept Azodome here, but I think that's not going to happen right now. Nezio over here recapturing point A. And blue team staying ahead, but thing is, now we're dealing with uh, point B. Now, guys, we have B captured. Look at that cap. It has now happened. Um, that's very scary. Uh, the mid cap is now being held by the red team. And with that, that might just be kind of... I don't want to call it, like, you know, obviously within the first three minutes, but mid belongs to red, and blue team can't fight them on a team fight map, right? I mean, this is... I mean, if, if right now, guys, right, I'm Mio, I am just thinking on how I'm going to change my outfit to use my gizmo, uh, pretty much. Like, this is... This is red team's game to throw, right? As much as uh, I'm not going to hate to say it, guys, like, this is basically the... Uh, the way, you know, they, they are, it's now on them to throw the game, right? They are almost certainly going to win. This is insanely favored towards red right now. Uh, because they are just going to win every single fight. Uh, if we keep, see them keep playing at the standard we've seen them play so far. Um, blue cannot really engage them on Skyhammer. Maybe the objective could be useful at some point, but this is just going to be a sledgehammer, okay? And it's hitting like a fucking glass, right? Like a vase. Okay, nice uh, nice vase, guys. Getting smashed by a sledgehammer. Do you see Mio go down there? That's a very nice kill there. Blackjack trying to res, get the res, and they do actually get that kill. But again, I think we're going to see blue team not be quite able to finish the job, and that's where things do get scary. A very nice team fight there. The caster curse uh, definitely kicking in there. Uh, pretty big time there, of course. So, you know, saying, oh yeah, they're going to win, but then that doesn't really happen whatsoever. We actually get a free hammer from Pain. Don't think there's going to be a response there. That is going to be nice to neutralize that node. But again, Red Team just do a good job. They're already out on the map. They're already controlling this here, getting point A. Already have point C. The Guardian able to stall Pain here as well. Will be replaced shortly here, I imagine. Although, having said that, no, it's not going to be replaced. It's going to be an all-out team fight here. And, well, that Reaper is going to do work. That is going to be absolutely massive here. And, yeah, Blue, of course, really love to get that hammer and reset the map, but it's going to be difficult to actually take this fine. Look at this 3-3, right? We have the uh, the Guardian, the uh, the Rev, Renegade, and then the Lightning Rod Weaver, but it's into a Support Guard, a Herald, and a Reaper, and that Reaper is just a big problem here. Like, Reaper uh, of Mio is just going to be such a big deal here. He is going to be smashing. He's going to be slaying constantly. Is there a Lich available? Let's see if he has Lich. Doesn't matter to get that decision. Has the Lich very, very shortly. I wouldn't be surprised to see him actually pop that. Yep, there we go. There is the Lich. He wants that kill. Actually, he does get thwarted a little bit. They get CC'd, but uh, we actually do see a kill on the scare. Is there? Oh my god, that is disgusting there. Huge crit there onto Aeon. Denies that res completely. And yeah, another very decisive team fight. Very nicely done here uh, by the red team. Just like burning those corners. And just classic team fight. This is just a team fight situation. It is just team fight, team fight. That is how it is. This is going to be red team. Mio is going to win monthly AT. There's pretty much no way around it at this point. I mean, uh, as much as I hate to call things early, uh, we're seeing a relog maybe from Nicola. Going to go for the Condi Rev. I, I think I like that. That's going to be good here. It's a small map where they can maybe bunker it down and really force the issue with the Condi Herald. But yeah, this is pretty much where it ends. Everyone gets white. This is a classic team fight game in Guild Wars 2. You just force that team fight, guys. You force it big time with the minion monster, with the Reaper, and then take the uh, take the uh, take the support guardian there, Sakiki, on the power held and the thief there, just to make sure that you've got something that isn't a complete snail. And this is pretty much going to be it. Yeah, the class swap comes in, but I don't really see this going anywhere. Like the class swap has happened. Uh, and all of a sudden, it's going to be a nice team fight here, of course. The Condi Herald will be value. But they're far behind now. 200 points to 76. I mean, it's a bit of an anticlimactic uh, finals, to be frank. And actually, we see the Condi Herald here. Let's get caught here a little bit. Gets a good heal there. Does have his Glint heal available. Manages to pop it. 
Looks like he's not going to get a crazy amount of value out of that. Does get some, but not that much. And still, they're going to try and re-engage this team fight. Let's see if they can make it work. Blackjack has won Monthy AT on NA. Of course, off Dream with Brazil. He's about to win it on EU as well. Let's see if he's going to make that happen. Of course, he actually won it one of the early ones as well, I believe, actually. But, well, now he's going to win it again. And that is going to be the end of the game. Seven says Rath goes down. Mio does die. Nice signet there from Blackjack, though. Gets him back on his feet. And they are trading players here a little bit, but the revive is good. Of course, the fragility of that Reaper definitely causing a few problems here. Very big torment there. And we do see a kill on Mio. That probably needs to get stomped out here, I believe. Yeah, there's the fear. And we do see the stomp now. Maybe Blue Team can make a bit of a comeback here. However, Asdom is going to be so annoying here right on this map. He's just going to be running around in circles, resetting these fights over and over and over again, um, denying those nodes. And oh, it's certainly not over. Maybe we have been a little bit too presumptuous there, guys. Okay. Very, very presumptuous indeed, because, of course, the Condi Rev may make the difference. Let's see if it does. Sakiki in trouble. They're getting pressured out very, very hard. Uh, let's see if Blue can win this team fight. Oh, the Lich, though, from Flandre is really scary. Aeon, though, does arrive now, bringing that big healing here as well. Seven Sins Rath, though, in trouble. Has to get the Shield 5. Gets a bit of healing here. Does he have anything after that? I don't think he does. Oh, lovely. Magnetic Earth Shield save there. Tries to get out. Actually might get it. Oh, that was beautiful uh, with a disengage. He's got to get back in there. He can't leave his team on their own, and he's got to somehow break combat, I think. I think Rizdom's forced to do the same. Sevens is lost. Is trying to keep Nezio alive. Right now, the minion mods are holding firm there. A lot of damage here onto Aeon. The Amob is really big. Can she hold? Mio looking for the kill. Virtue. Oh, 0.2 seconds. Mio's down, actually. They've got to hold it. But no, the cleave is too much. Massive cleave. Rallies Mio and uh, Flandre as well, actually, I believe. Core Necromons are putting in that work. Blue Team now do have the map. Getting back into it. They can keep stalling out this hammer. They can get some value out of that, but it's going to be very difficult to do so. Now, of course, two of their players have died. Rizadom also, he can actually go back through here. Yeah, I like that, actually. This makes things a little bit more awkward. He can go on the node, force him to kill him very quickly. But now, Nezio in a 1v4. He is not holding that for long, and the map's about to get reset by the hammer. Aeon arrives. Is there any shroud for Nezio? No, five seconds left on that. Don't think that we... Uh, revive, I doubt it. Like, yeah, no, she actually dies while doing it. It's too much DPS. Their spinal shivers, I believe, they're landed from Mio. Just devastating there. Destroying that um, Guardian, ripping it to shreds within seconds right there. That is huge, huge damage. Meanwhile, Instructor to Azadome, uh, also moving over here, getting that decap, keeping that point gain minimal there for the blue team, knocking that uh, Conley out once again off there. They're trying desperately to hold the hammer. They have to give up the hammer now. There it is. It is now done. I mean, certainly not done, guys. It is not over. It really, really isn't. Let's see. If Blue Team can come back. They have been having a little bit of success here uh, with this Condi Herald. It has been putting in a bit of work for them. Let's see if they can find some more value. But no, Pain just gets devastated there. The DPS is just so much there. The damage is just insane coming out there. It really, really is indeed. And Aeon once again driven away from the battle. They're going to try and engage this fight and maintain one node apiece. But Aeon's got nothing. I mean, like she has no cooldowns right now. And that is pretty much a dead Guardian right there. That is very unfortunate. Not what you want to see. And it's definitely winnable. I mean, like, you know, uh, it is winnable here. But again, it's very, very hard because, like I said at the start of the game, guys, like, Red's team fight is just good. The team fight is damn, damn juicy, guys. It really, really is. It's a clean win. It's a clean meme. But we've got to see a regroup here from the blue team. They've got to get back into this. We've got to regroup that, get back into the game, and start securing themselves some victory. Let's see if they can make that work. Mio, he can taste that victory. He wants that gizmo. He wants to find that win. He absolutely does. Can he do it? Can he seal the deal here? We have our Rizdom and Paint. Looking to get the decap here on the Sakiki. The mud slide there. Look at that. What a beautiful graphic it is, guys. Covering the floor in mud. Hammer now up once again. Nezio getting liched down. Flandre getting liched hard as well himself, though, actually. And the healing is good, but that full shroud is going to make this take a very long time to actually get that kill. Might see an intervention there from Pain. Pain! He gets caught again by Azadome. Dude, Azadome is popping off right now. He is completely activated in this current situation, guys. He is an absolute beast. He wants that second gizmo. He already has the dragon. I believe, and he wants another. Finds the kill on pain. I mean, there's no reinforcements right now uh, for Nezio and Aeon. Very, very big, uh, tough loss there. Like, Pain just getting caught in, in ways that he hasn't been doing so. Like, Pain has not been dying in these previous games, but this time he absolutely is, and that is just like the caliber of play that we're dealing with. It's very, very clean. Have to give up the node there. Nezio does fall. Aeon gets out, but this is a mess, guys. This is just... Uh, I, it's in shambles, right? Like, the blue team has formed the pieces, right? They just can't find anything. They cannot find victory. They cannot find the victory here. And we are going to be seeing it. Look at that. Kill, 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 kill. Red team just winning, winning, winning. 
over and over and over again. The damage from the Reaper, the pressure from the minions, the Reapers, okay, the damage, the wells, the everything, the support from Blackjack is just too much. The Power Herald devastation here from Sakiki as well. It is simply too much. Red Team have found the big comp. They've found the way. They've made the Reaper work. And with Aeon falling the game as well and truly over, it's not just the fall of the Worms. It's the rise of a new champion. The rise of Mio, the Reaper. He's finally here. He AFKs on node. He can taste it. It's over at this point. It's no longer winnable for Blue. It is completely GG. Mio AFKs on node. GG called there by Nezio and Scare. They know it's over. They know the Monty AT dream ends with them. A brand new champion will be found. Never before seen winning the Monty. The sun goes to the big man. It goes to the Reaper, to Mio. He's won the 1v1 taunts and now he wins the 5v5. There it is. It is over. Of course, there were three potential contenders here. Rizodom, Nezio, and Scare not having won a monthly before. But this time will not be their chance to see if they stick around with the same team. Seven deadly sins. Honestly, if they had their full roleplay, they would have won the game. But this time, the full roleplay is not going to save them. It's too late for that to rename the characters. And that is it. 501, 243. It's GG. It is over. Um, quick thing, my friends. Okay? So... For those who don't know, I'm running a tournament. It's going to have a $2,000 prize pool. There's a lot of teams there. You guys should all sign up. Um, you can actually sign up to this right now, guys. I'll actually link you this. You can come and read all the details on how it works. Okay, you can look at the tournament. It will be uh, at the end of October. Uh, sorry, at the end of September. Uh, start, the start of October, basically. And then two weeks after that. You can sign up right now, guys, and start practicing. Hey, look. Scourge didn't get played in the finals of Monthly AT. So it looks like it's time to get in on that action right now, guys. Let's go. Sign up. Okay, get in there, big guys. $2,000. Hopefully, Community Conqueror as well. Uh, alongside loads of other fantastic prizes. 50k gold. Loads of gems. Loads of exciting things. Get in there right now, guys. Let's go, 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 go. Join up. And make the tournament happen. All right, here we go. We actually have the right instance here. Very nice. 